Hello my loves, welcome to my channel Sun Love Stars and welcome to today's pick a card reading. <laughs> so today's pick a card reading is going to be about what are you not seeing, okay? So this is like an energy that is surrounding you or something that is going on around you that you are not fully aware of or you might be aware of it but when it comes to your subconscious mind, you guys know sometimes you have a feeling that something is going on in the air and you cannot put your finger on it, we might look at that. But overall, what is happening around you that you are not fully aware of, okay? It could also be about signs and synchronicities that your spirit guides have been sending you and you couldn't put the puzzle pieces together quite yet. Okay, so that's what we're going to look at today. So basically what is happening behind the scenes, what is happening around you and you are not realizing it. Okay, this could even be an energy that you might also look at what is happening within you because sometimes there are certain like feelings and emotions and triggers that we have and we don't really understand it. Like what the hell is going on with me or what the hell is going on around me or why is all of that happening? Okay, so that's basically what we're going to look at today. What is happening around you that you are not seeing? Okay what is happening behind the scenes basically. I'm a little bit more mellow today guys. I'm gonna be very honest. I have my bubbly days. I have my very like focused days and then some days I'm kind of mellow. <laughs> so today is a very mellow day. I meditated, you know, I meditated a lot, listened to healing frequencies. So my energy is a lot more calm and a lot more grounded. So in case somebody's wondering why I'm not so upbeat and bubbly today, today is just a day for me to be just like, just imagine it's an ocean and the ocean is not like full of waves the ocean is calm today that's my energy today <laughs> okay the next up you can choose between three images if you feel in these size if you can go on google find a number generate and ask your spirit guides to guide you to the right power okay you can pray to your spirit guides or maybe meditate for one minute you know maybe you can see a number in your mind's eye maybe you feel very or magically drawn to a number rather than a picture okay so just go with your intuition and if you feel like you are a little bit confused ask your spirit guides to guide you to the right pal and then um, go on the number generator or find a number generator on google okay so without further ado i'm going to see in your reading guys <laughs> Hello my lovely pal number one, welcome to your reading guys. We are going to look at what reading we're going to look at what are you not seeing that is happening around you, what is happening behind the scenes or what is happening behind your back or um, kind of like energy that is surrounding you and you can feel it but you cannot put it into words. Does that make sense where you feel a shift or you feel a change in the wind or you feel suspicious or something along those lines and you cannot put your finger on it? We're going to look at that today, okay? It's basically kind of like a blind spot like you're not seeing it you're not aware of it you didn't recognize it this could also be like a sign from your spirit guides and you couldn't put the puzzle pieces together yet okay and i also want to let you guys know i pick up a lot of energy in this pile i think a lot of you guys chose pile number one i'm not gonna lie because there's so much information coming through so please bear with me i might tap into different topics because i'm picking up a lot of energy here already okay so i'm gonna zoom you guys in we're gonna look at the cards to Together. Okay, pile number one. For some reason, spirit wants me or your spirit guides want me to talk about signs that you have been seeing and I think maybe you didn't fully understand it or you almost forgot about certain signs and synchronicities that your spirit guides have been sending to you. So that's the first thing that they want me to talk about. Um, I have here the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. 
and if you look at the card more closely you can see there is a tree so spirit has been maybe um, talking to you through symbolism of trees and forests okay maybe there was something significant happening the last time you took a walk in a forest maybe you had dreams of forests you had dreams of trees okay or something about a particular tree has been calling to you you had the urge to go to a tree or a forest or a park of some sort for others of you you have been bombarded with signs connected to falcons and hawks okay so i'm basically being brought to like bird uh symbolism maybe you have been seeing a lot of feathers maybe you have been even seeing a lot of coins because it looks literally like a you know like a golden coin so i'm seeing for some odd reason this is going to resonate for someone here but i'm hearing like a coin dropping okay something about you know the sound of a coin dropping okay maybe you have been hearing something like that okay or something about you have been finding coins on the floor a lot <laughs> more than once the last couple of days or the last couple of weeks for others of you there has been a lot of like falcon and hawk symbolism is what i'm picking up here as well as just birds maybe you have been seeing a lot of doves maybe you have been seeing a lot of like peacocks or whatever something about bird symbolism something about you know a hawk or a falcon is what i'm picking up here okay i'm also being brought to this egyptian god that has like the head of a falcon or the head of a hawk i think his name is horus okay so let me actually see what that is about okay but this is what i'm seeing in my mind's eye here maybe this has been somehow significant maybe for some of you guys you are drawn to Egyptian mythology a lot lately or you've been to an Egyptian mythology museum of some sort or something about um, something about Ankh symbolism or anything related to ancient Egypt is what I'm picking up here like Egyptian gods is what I'm picking up here okay and look at that energy because here he's also holding a falcon which is the page of pentacles okay Fathers of you, you may have been seeing a lot of tigers or a lot of lions. May that be in your dreams or somehow in your close vicinity, you know, um, maybe on your newsfeed you have been seeing a lot of lions or you have been seeing a lot of um, tigers. For some of you guys, spirit has been talking to you through horses like i don't know a dream of a horse maybe you do like horse riding you like to go horse riding um because we have a horseshoe here okay or you could have been very drawn to horses lately or something about you have been seeing a lot of like horseshoes okay that's what i'm picking up here or you have been very drawn to that symbolism i'm also hearing something about a dream connected to a horse or a horseshoe a dream connected to a lion or a tiger and for some of you guys your technical devices have been acting up okay like something about like electronic devices are acting up they're weird you know they're doing some weird stuff like downloading something even though you didn't click anything or your phone is recording even though you didn't even click on recording something about where your phone has been acting up or any like devices around you have been acting up or you have been noticing that devices are acting up around you okay which is usually a huge sign that you have spirit guides around you because i keep saying that in almost every reading but if you think about it, the frequency of spirits is very high, so um, technical devices are gonna pick up on that energy, if that makes sense, okay? That could be the reason why your electronic devices have been acting up, okay? But let me show you the cards now. So we have here chair filled, someone new is entering your life. So you could have also received signs connected to a chair or connected to I don't know like uh, dreams of people sitting next to you i don't know what that would mean <laughs> okay where almost listen for some of you guys maybe you have had dreams of people sitting next to you and you know them but you cannot see them does that make sense where someone is sitting next to you or something about a seat yeah for some of you guys there's something about you have been receiving signs connected to someone taking your seat or someone offering their seat to you maybe you've been noticing that a lot of people are very kind and polite and they're always offering a seat to you or you have been maybe noticing that people try to take your seat when you are I don't know in a train when you are at a coffee shop or whatever something along those lines or again signs and synchronicities connected to chairs um, or someone sitting next to you something along those lines okay but yeah it says someone new is entering your life 
Okay, so something that you are not seeing is that someone new is entering your life or kind of like an energy where, or kind of like an energy where I feel like when this person comes into your life, it might catch you off guard. Does that make sense? Okay, something about where a new person is entering your life, but because it talks about what you are not seeing, listen, 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 listen. For some of you guys, um, you have spirit guides around you that are connected to a person that is about to enter your life okay so for some of you guys you might have an ancestor of another person around you right now okay um, meaning if you have felt a new energy in your aura this could be for some of you guys not for everybody but for some of you guys if you are like super duper close to your spirit guides or you always try to connect with them and stuff like that um for some of you guys you have a departed loved one around you that is connected to a person you are about to meet so something that you are not seeing is that you literally have like a spirit guide or a guardian angel around you that is not from your lineage, that is not from your ancestry, but it is from a person that is about to enter your life. Does that make sense? It's kind of like um, your this new soulmate comes into your life and her or his grandpa is already around you talking to you. Does that make sense? Listen, I feel like this energy here of like, two spirit guides or two ancestors two guardian angels um guiding two people to finally meet each other that's what it feels like to me here does that make sense where you are being somehow guided to be at the right place at the right time to meet this new person because you guys are meant to meet or something about where you have been praying for them they have been praying for you does that make sense and it's kind of like their spirit guides are around you trying to talk to you and send you signs that are somehow connected to this person that is about to enter your life. And again, for others of you, um, you might not see coming that um, someone new is entering your life. Kind of like, I don't want new friends, I'm not manifesting new friends, I'm already happily in a relationship, in a marriage and stuff like that. Um, I don't, you know, do you know what I mean where you don't even put effort into meeting someone new but you are supposed to meet this person, does that make sense? That's what it feels like to me, especially again if you tell me like you're not out here looking for new friends, you are already in a beautiful relationship, like you don't, it's not like you are in need of a new person but there's somehow a new person entering your life, okay? Um, for some of you guys, um, this could actually be a pregnancy, not for everybody, but someone here watching me, you are not realizing that you are pregnant right now, like you could be throwing up, you could be feeling really bad, because we have the bad health here, okay, so some of you could be feeling like nauseous, and you could be feeling like you want to throw up, and you don't know what, what this is about, maybe you, res like, maybe you had your period, so your, your mind because I know that sometimes you can have your period and still be pregnant or whatever um so someone you could be pregnant okay this is either about someone being pregnant around you okay so someone this is like an energy where a new person is entering your life in the form of a child but it means that someone around you might be pregnant and they might not be realizing it and you are also not aware of it but you can feel a new energy because the energy of a newborn baby it is in the air you can feel it everything is energy so if someone you know if you meet with your friend and she has a baby inside of her you can feel maybe like a new energy or you you feel something in the air and it might be her pregnancy does that make sense so someone you could be pregnant for others of you this might be you um if you have a partner and you know some you know some stuff happened or whatever there might be a, a tendency or there might be like a chance that someone here is pregnant right now like the reason why you're nauseous and the reason why you don't have energy and stuff like that is because you're actually pregnant okay for some of you guys um you also have here the horseshoe it says good luck okay we also have here the card the lion it says time to act okay and then we also have here the lovers in the world card which we already talked about i feel like there is a huge union about to take place you are about to meet somebody here okay you are about to meet somebody here a significant person in your life because the thing is we have a lot of people around you in your reading we have the main female here okay as well as the mature men 
Okay, we're going to talk about these two people. So there could be an energy where um, you're not, I almost want to say you might not be realizing that two new people might be coming into your life, okay, or two new soulmates. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, there might be like two new soulmates coming into your life, okay, because it says someone new is entering your life and then we have a main female and a mature man, okay, listen, for someone here in particular, I'm seeing, especially if you had like dreams of that or if you had a feeling of that, for some of you guys, I'm picking up the energy here, you might meet a soulmate and his or her parent is also going to be a soulmate. It's kind of like, let's say for example, you meet a new friend or like you meet a new person and you're going to end up being super duper close friends. Her dad or her mom, your spirit guides are here, might be also like almost as if you will have a soulmate connection with a person that is a little bit older, kind of like a mom or a dad or a grandpa or a grandma of a new person that you are meeting. Does that make sense? Listen to me. I feel like you are about to meet new two new soulmates that's what it feels like to me here so for example you might be aware that you are meeting one person like you have a gut feeling like you have dreams of some interesting things like oh i feel like i'm about to meet somebody but you might not be realizing that you are about to meet two people at the same time or around in the same month does it make sense where you think oh you know like um i already know who you're talking about i already had dreams of my new friend i already had dreams of my soulmate i already had dreams of my future spouse or whatever but i'm picking up it's like two new people are entering your life is what i'm picking up here almost as if you are about to meet multiple soulmates this could even be up to three people i'm not gonna lie okay or something about for some of you guys i feel like what you are not seeing or what you are not aware of is you are about to be part of a group okay is what i'm picking up here i don't know what exactly that means but i'm picking up here that you are meeting up to three new people or three new soulmates of some sort okay but we're going to talk about that in a second because another thing that I'm picking up here is because um, we, we have to talk about the bad health card here first, okay? Um, so for some of you guys, you might have clicked on this video and you feel off today or you feel like you cannot put your finger on it but you feel nauseous or you know you feel like you cannot concentrate or you feel like you don't want to talk today or you don't do you know what i mean where you feel like you feel off right now on this very moment for some of you guys okay if that is the case your spirit guides want you to know you're not realizing that you're literally overstimulated right now okay we have you too busy or overstimulated disconnect from social media and reconnect to your soul so for some of you guys, you are just freaking overstimulated, like I'm hearing to the brim, do you say it like that? Like where your capacity to, you know, like um, kind of like where your brain is overactive or your brain needs a break maybe for some of you guys you have been studying a lot or you have been socializing with multiple people today uh, the the week at work was so fucking stressful something about where um for some of you guys i'm hearing like your brain needs a break or something about where um your capacity to you know like um absorb information like you reached your <laughs> how do you say that like you reached the brim hearing um it's time to call it a day so this might just be today like where your spirit guides are telling you like don't put too much on your plate or today is not the day for you to learn more or to study more or whatever like um this is not good for your health or something about like you might have like the symptoms that you have might be connected to you being overstimulated um or connected to some type of like burnout syndromes does that make sense where your spirit gets or letting you know um what is going on with you right now is you are overstimulated okay sometimes when we are overstimulated we are very confused and we cannot tap into our in into our intuition and sometimes we even have like this doom gloom energy because we are so confused because i feel like we are the happiest when we feel clarity right confusion sometimes doesn't feel good you know well if you know if it's like a surprise kind of like oh i don't know what this is about you know but in a good way when it's a surprise then it is you know like exciting but 
if you for some of you guys it's kind of like an energy where your brain or your body or your soul needs simplicity right now or needs stillness right now or needs like a weekend where you don't talk to nobody where you don't think about anything like your brain needs a break or maybe even your vocal cords i don't know why <laughs> like your voice like your vocal cords need a break something about where um you know you just need a break okay because you could be in an energy where you feel like you want to shut down or like almost as if like you i don't know you need to i don't know go into your man cave or go into your cave maybe for today maybe for this weekend uh well i don't know when i'm going to post it or when you're going to watch it but maybe for today or just this week um Okay, so you might not be realizing that you're overstimulated or that um, you are a person that does get overstimulated because some people they are, you know, some people are, how do you call it, like desensitized, like they don't realize certain things or you might also not notice that you have, for example, very sensitive eyes. So your eyes need more breaks than other people's eyes or your ears need more breaks than other people's ears. Do you know what I mean? Something about where something about your body might be very sensitive and therefore you need more breaks than other people or you need to be a little bit more gentle with yourself than other people. You know, because again, for example, some people have a strong nose, some people have strong eyes, some people have strong ears. There's something, yeah, that's the next thing that I want to talk about. And you might, you know, what other people, like they have a strong, like strong eyes, for example, but you might have weaker eyes, meaning that you cannot compare like your eyes to another person's eyes. Does it make sense where this person is saying like, oh, you know, like um, I don't need a break, but you do need a break. Does that make sense? Because your eyes are more sensitive than the other person's eyes. I don't know what that exactly means but something about your spirit guides want you to somehow honor something because there's something about your body mind soul and spirit that is a lot more sensitive compared to other people your skin might be more sensitive to other people does it make sense and you might not be realizing it because you think like you are just like everybody else but you are not just like everybody else there's something very unique about I'm hearing there's something very unique about your condition or you know that's the reason why every single human being has a unique fingerprint because we might be designed very similarly right but you know some people have allergies other people don't have allergies the structure of our hair it's kind of like while we are very similar like everybody is human, like everybody's blood is the same color. While we are very, very similar, you know, we are also extremely different, right? Because I'm hearing both can be true at the same time. We are all humans, but at the same time, we cannot compare ourselves to every human being. It's like we're so unique and that's why every single human being has like a unique fingerprint. And one thing that I want to tell you guys here is... Um, while you might be more sensitive than other people again I don't know what exactly that means it might be like something about your physical body something about your mental health you might be more for example more sensitive to horror movies than other people you, you easily get nightmares when you watch like action movies or whatever do you know what I mean where other people they can watch action movies and they don't have any nightmares and stuff like that some people dream a lot other people don't dream at all do you know what I mean some people have a light sleep other people have like a you know like like a very deep sleep there's something about um I feel like something that you are not realizing is because we have here the eight of wands and it says swiftness so something about spirit is bringing me to an energy where you are very fast at something so basically what they're telling me is they're highlighting like your strength and your weakness so you might not be fully aware of your weakness as well as your strength does that make sense or your spirit guides want you to look at your weakness and your strength because they're telling me that in one area particular area in your life you might be weaker than other people but in a different area in your life you might be a lot stronger and a lot faster than other people does that make sense because with the swiftness card right here this is telling me um the first thing that i heard is listen i'm going to give you one example okay for example you might have very sensitive skin okay so that means you have to be extra careful what you can put on your on your body okay 
um, you cannot just go into the drugstore and just use any lotion and you know use any body scrub you have to be very particular and very careful look at the ingredients and stuff like that because your skin is super sensitive compared to other people's skin they can use whatever on their skin and nothing is happening you break out very easily at the same time if you have a wound, the wound heals faster than other people's wound. Does that make sense? So while you are weak at in one particular area, you're also strong in the other. Because they're telling me... So what I'm trying to say here is... They're telling me you are not aware or you're not seeing that you are extremely good at something that other people... It takes them a long time because they're telling me like... Basically what I'm trying to say here is... Um, your spirit guides are telling me what you are not seeing, what you are not fully aware of is that you heal faster than other people or you are really good at healing. Does that make sense? What other, what other people need years, weeks to heal something, whereas you heal a lot faster than other people. Does that make sense? Because I'm picking up the energy here. Your spirit guides are telling me you might get hurt a lot faster, but you also heal a lot faster. Does that make sense? While other people, it might take more for them to get hurt, but it also takes them longer to heal. I don't know what exactly that means. This could be physically, this could be emotionally, this could be spiritually. Something about where what you are not seeing is that you are good at healing very fast. I don't know what that means, okay? Maybe your spirit gets are telling you there is a golden thread in your life. You always bounce back. You always heal in like something about what your spirit guides are telling me listen for some of you guys i'm gonna be honest okay i'm even hearing what you are not realizing what you are not seeing is that something that um people are super duper how can i explain that so some people admire that about you and other people are like literally jealous like where they don't understand how you bounce back so fast, where they notice that you always bounce back from things, may that be emotionally, spiritually, financially, whatever it is. So some people, they admire that about you and they want to learn. And other people, they're jealous, like where they feel like, I don't know, your genes are better or somehow you were blessed by the gods with good health. Because I'm seeing like an energy here where, again, something about where one day people see you crying and the next day they see like the brightest smile on your face and they're like, how the hell did pound number one heal so freaking fast like in order for me to even you know like smile you know like I have to force myself to smile or you know like I've been going to therapy for example for example okay where someone might be maybe are maybe is jealous I'm hearing someone is jealous of your good health but at the same time people also admire that about you and I feel like you might not be fully aware of it because they're telling me like for example the person could be saying I've been going to therapy for three years and they when they compare their progress to your progress even though you never went to therapy or you only went to therapy for one year they feel like you made such a huge progress what the hell is going on here <laughs> when they compare their progress to your progress um, when it comes to healing they feel like you heal a lot faster or you are a master healer like some people really feel like you can bounce back from anything or something about where they feel like you have been blessed by the gods with good mental health with good physical health whatever the heck it is okay something about where people don't see maybe the hard work that you do but at the same time i also do feel like i'm going to talk about that in a second because in my humble opinion i feel like everybody is blessed with something some people are blessed with beauty other people are blessed with health other people are blessed with money other people are blessed with love it's kind of like certain things they come very easy to you or they come easier to you than other people some people are blessed with fertility they get pregnant so freaking fast and other people takes them a long time to get pregnant right some people they make money while sleeping other people it takes them a long time to accumulate wealth or they have to put in a lot of work into something right some people bounce back very easily from health issues other people it takes them a long time to heal does that make sense where and i feel like one of your biggest strength that you have is that you bounce back that you're that you are so good at healing, you're so good at healing yourself, you're so good at um, bouncing back mentally or something about like, you might not notice that you are exceptionally or extraordinarily good at healing, healing yourself or extraordinarily good at having a good mental health. For some of you guys, pile number one, I could be talking about untapped potential, which is the reason why your spirit guides are bringing this up in a reading called, what are you not seeing? So for some of you guys, you could have like 
untapped potential when it comes to healing super duper fast or something about like spirit is bringing me to a person who when they you know close their eyes and they're listen they listen to their body they know exactly which herb they need or they know exactly which fruit they need almost as if you know what vitamin you lack without taking a vitamin deficiency test does that make sense where you if you would kind of like sit down or listen to your body or look at your symptoms of some sort it's kind of like you have like this natural intuition for some of you guys this has just been um, years of practicing but i feel like you might not be aware of how powerful this how powerful it is to be good at healing or kind of like how many people envy how healthy you are or how you always bounce back or something along those lines so you might not be aware of how powerful it is to be so good at healing or to heal so rapidly fast or that you have such a strong intuition when it comes to healing or healthy energy or what an impact you have on other people i feel like you're not fully aware of it if that makes sense and for others of you this is untapped potential where you could possibly become like super duper good at healing very fast or something about like where you could actually have like a very strong body like i'm being brought to someone who goes to the doctor and the doctor's like damn you know you're very you know um healthy for your age or something about like oh these are like the best test results i've seen in a while do you know what i mean something along those lines is what i'm being brought to or for example like if you would like take a psychology test you know like they would say like you have one of the healthy brain or kind of like a healthy way of thinking of some sort i don't know something along those lines is what i'm being brought to so for some of you guys it might be untapped potential where you could possibly learn very fast how to hear your body or your mind or your soul very fast if you would just focus on it you know like you would notice like damn it's actually easy for me or it's easy for me to figure out what's going on with my brain what my brain needs what my body needs what my soul needs once i sit down okay you guys um this could just be like a golden thread where when people are envying you it's usually like your health i don't know if it's your body or your soul or your peace or kind of like that you always find peace even in the midst of chaos and they kind of like envy how you can still smile or something along those lines and for others of you this has been like a golden thread where people have been if they do attack you they attack your health because they feel like when you are healthy you are unstoppable does that make sense or something along understands it has been a golden thread where people are like envying or sending when they do send negative energy they usually send it to your health because as much as it is your achilles heel for some of you guys it might also be your power or your strength at the same time does that make sense i feel like everybody's blessed with something right some people they just naturally have really good skin and other people they have to work to have good skin it doesn't mean that they can never have good skin in their life but they have to work where other people they just come to earth and they have really beautiful skin does that make sense and again your spirit guides are telling me something that you are not realizing or something that you are not fully aware of is how blessed you are with health or something about um this peace of mind that you have, this peace that you have in your soul and in your spirit, um, you have been working hard for it or for some of you guys, because I feel like for some of you guys it didn't come easy to you and for others of you, you have just been born like that, okay? But for others of you, all these years you have you have become, listen, I'm hearing you have become a master at good health, at good mental health or at healing, okay? So again, for example, somebody would, you know, or someone could be comparing themselves right now to your progress and it's all about health. They feel like you, you look so healthy, your energy is so healthy, you know, you know, your mind is so healthy, you know, um, they can just sense in your aura, in your energy that you're so freaking healthy, you know, you have so much peace in your soul and in your spirit and they, someone might be jealous of that. Does that make sense where, um, they feel like, um you know like i would i would love to have power number one's you know health if i had pine number one's health i would achieve all my goals if i had power number one's health you know i would do this and that and this and that but they might not be seeing how much work you put into it or that you chose that something that you kind of like where your path led you to become a master at healing or to become exceptionally good at healing or at mental health or just in health in general okay for others of you this might be an energy where this is your path 
have to become exceptionally good at healing um, may that be mentally physically emotionally spiritually where you accumulate so much knowledge about that and then you do help other people that have a hard time um have a hard time manifesting good health does that make sense for some of you guys your purpose actually is to help other people um reach the peace that you reached already does that make sense okay something about you you have been blessed by the gods and by the universe with good health but i also feel like because again i feel like both things can be true at the same time i feel like you have been somehow blessed but at the same time i also feel like you put a lot of work into it or just your path you know for some of you guys can i be honest with you guys i'm going to be very honest okay um your spirit guides are telling me that you know they're, they're showing me i keep referring to the movie soul i don't know why but they keep telling me the movie soul and they're showing me how you know a person chooses to come to earth and they also choose what they want their strength to be so some people kind of like choose they want to be good at making money other people choose they want to meet their true love you know in their teenage years in their childhood right because some people there are blessed they meet their true love in their future spouse at the age of 16. um other people they get rich by the age of i don't know 30 or whatever does that make sense and for some you know spirit is bringing me to that i don't know why i'm just gonna you know talk they're telling me that you chose health over love and money when you came to earth so the first thing that where you reach your true potential or where you reach like a peak, you know, is health. You're going to be one of the healthiest individuals in your friend circle, in your family, um, I don't know, in your neighborhood um, because you chose that you want this to be your superpower. For example, if you would literally, this is what they're telling me, like if you chose a character in a movie or whatever, somehow you chose that you want to become the healthiest out of them all or you want to be super duper healthy you know but it could have something to do with your past life that you had bad health in your past life or maybe you also have witnessed for some of you guys this has been triggered because you have witnessed what happens when you are in bad health that you cannot even enjoy love and money and friendship and you know having children when you are not in good health maybe you've been you know like just the wisdom from the mistakes that other people have made you chose where you chose you know when you were i don't know 12 13 15 20 man i really want to be the healthiest version of myself because how in the world am i going to enjoy the money and my marriage and my love life and my children and stuff like that when i'm not healthy you know so they're telling me that somehow if you would choose a character like your soul would choose optimal health like you would choose to be the healthiest you know out of them all and um this might be your path here to either make even money teaching other people to become the healthiest version of themselves right because there's people there's dating doctors they teach about love there's people that teach about money you know how to accumulate money there's people teaching you know how to have a better connection to your children you know people have like different fields like, people have different passions so they're telling me that what you're not realizing is that you bounce back a lot faster than other people from any kind of let's say for example spiritual attacks from any kind of like negative comment anything like you bounce back so fast like i'm hearing lightning bolt fast like you might not be realizing that you are exceptionally good at healing at healing your mind at healing other people you might not be realizing how how deeply healing your aura is to other people and that you are meant to actually heal people okay or that you are actually meant to guide people to exceptionally good health okay because that's like your do you say like when you you choose like a topic in your masters your topic would be exceptionally good health like where you create paradise in the mind or in the body or in the soul this would be kind of like your masters okay or your masters degree on planet earth this lifetime is actually exceptionally good health again for some of you guys this might be the reason why a lot of people have been jealous of you they have been jealous of how happy you can be or how peaceful you can be or how much joy you can you know feel like you reach levels of joy and peace and a heavenly feeling that other people don't even know exist 
okay that's how intense this energy here is and again for some of you guys your path actually is to um how do you call it to somehow make money with that okay because it's kind of like a win-win situation for both people you bring or you give people their health back okay and at the same time you are working on becoming good at making money for some of you guys okay or it's somehow going to be part of your journey where um you healing a particular person is going to be very significant especially since, especially since it says someone new is entering your life so for others of you what you are not seeing is that now that you are a teacher okay because i feel like you have been a student where your spirit guides the universe has been teaching you how to heal how to bounce back may that be physically emotionally spiritually how the health is connected to like how your health is connected to how much money you make whatever the heck it is okay i feel like you are now becoming the teacher in someone's life you are supposed to teach this person i'm hearing to heal them back to life or to breathe new life into this person because i feel like you are about to meet someone again it says you're meeting someone new okay and i feel like this person is such a sweetheart whoever this person is that you are healing they're such a sweetheart but their health is not the best does that make sense they might be really good at i don't know manifesting well they might be really good at I don't know climbing up the corporate ladder they might be really good at whatever they might have they might they themselves have their own master's degree in some type of thing does that make sense they might be so creative like they might be a picasso or whatever whoever this person is they have their own whatever they're good at but they might not they might have to work really hard to have good health so i feel like you are about to become a teacher in someone's life you are about to heal somebody back to life or you are about to um, help somebody get their health back is what i'm picking up here okay um, especially since we have the page of pentacles here the page is all about you know the student okay so i feel like you are about to become a teacher and you, you are about to have a student in front of you okay this new person that is entering your life they're gonna be a student like their energy is gonna be a student they're going to feel like they might even tell you like or maybe you've you've heard that before like man part number one you're always happy you're always upbeat you always look so peaceful or you always bounce back or whatever this person's gonna admire you so much they're gonna tell you like damn i wish i had so much peace damn i wish i could get over you know like um you know traumas and bad things happening to me as easy as you can does that make sense so for some of you guys you are what you're not seeing is you are about to meet somebody and you're going to heal them back to life or you're going to help them claim their health back okay you're going to you're going to bless this person with good health because you're going to teach them and it's funny because i was brought to the god horus right and i do think in egyptian mythology for some reason they're showing me like you know this god horus that i was you know showing to you guys in the beginning of your reading um you know for some odd reason i don't know what exactly is the story behind the god horus maybe for some of you guys you want to read about it um but they're showing me like those egyptian you know like uh, old pictures where there's like a god or a goddess and this god or this goddess has like you know students in front of him and he or she is teaching you know the children yeah that's why we have the children card here okay so for some of you guys listen you are supposed to teach your family or a particular family member how to become healthy or you are supposed to somehow bless a person with good health because you're going to teach them you're going to help them to i don't know somehow you are about to help a person to bounce back from a trauma or to bounce back from something very traumatic happening in their life that's literally what i'm picking up here okay for some of you guys what you might not be realizing is that you need um regular that you need to do a regular social media detox because again you are more sensitive than other people okay 
I'm being brought to a person who can easily store information in their brain. You know how some people have a hard time remembering stuff, which is a good thing. Again, everything has two sides to it. Every coin has two sides to it, right? So a person who cannot easily remember stuff, it's really good because they might not remember stuff that is not good for them, right? And then it might be a disadvantage because they might not remember stuff that they are supposed to remember. Whereas other people that are have a good memory, they might remember stuff they're not supposed to remember and they might, again, it's an advantage because they, they can easily absorb information and have a good memory. So everything has its advantage and disadvantage, okay? But again, I do feel like you might not be fully aware of something that you are you might not be aware of how rare it is to be so healthy or to how, how, how rare it is to bounce back so fast or how to bounce back just within two years of going to therapy or three years or even five years, whatever it is, okay? Whereas other people, they need two decades and you only need five years or whatever or something about um, you might be really good at self-help where you lead, read a lot of self-help books and um, you don't even need to go to therapy. Does that make sense for some of you guys? You have somehow created like your own type of therapy that would actually heal quite a lot of people. Does it make sense where some people, they maybe are made for like the standard therapy and other people they are, it's like some, some things are not mentally, some things are like in the soul, where the soul needs to heal. So you might be exceptionally good at healing your soul or healing people's soul. Does it make sense where for some of you guys, your path is going to lead you to somehow create something that heals people especially people where normal therapy doesn't work for them or do you know what i mean and again for others of you you're exceptionally good at you know like um healing just reading self-help books or doing your own meditation or doing your own guided meditation i don't know what it is but you are exceptionally good at it you are exceptionally good at bouncing back and at healing because if i look at this card i don't see you like there's a guy in the bed and he's like not doing well. I see you as the nurse here. So I don't know if someone here is in the medical field, in the medical department where you are literally a nurse or you are you go in that direction. Okay. Um, for some of you guys, if you are a musician, because I've been thinking about that. I have been telling myself because I felt like I have been healing a lot through music. You know how when you listen to a song and the song just says everything that you couldn't find the right words to say and it just feels so freeing to have the lyrics to what is happening within you. I've been listening to music and I have been, you know, like taking walks and stuff like that and then I was telling or talking to myself like, damn, some musicians are healers. Like some musicians, people that produce beats, they're literally healers. They heal with the frequency they put into their music, with the you know lyrics that they put into their music. They're literally healers. So someone here, you're supposed to heal people with your music. Your music is so healing, okay? In a very destructive, dysfunctional world, in a very destructive, dysfunctional like society that we live in, you know. Again, you might not be aware of it. You might just, you know, like uh, live in your own little bubble where you are, you know, like uh, doing your own thing, and you might not be realizing. Dang, do you know how many people are as healthy as you, or do you know how many people, you know, like bounce back as fast as you do? It's not a lot of people, or it's, you know. Um, it's an exception is what I'm hearing okay it's not people don't easily bounce back that freaking fast the way you do I don't know if it's mentally physically emotionally spiritually when it comes to your soul it's not it doesn't just come out of nowhere you know it's like a lot of people they are praying right now to be as healthy as you are does that make sense but you might not be aware of it so I feel like your spirit guides want you to know like you are fucking blessed. You're so exceptionally good at healing, at learning about healing. You absorb information so fast when it comes to healing, okay, is what I'm picking up here. And again, you are about to heal somebody, okay? There's going to be a person, this person's going to be very near and dear to your heart and you're going to breathe new life into them or you're going to heal them back to life because they have been going through some bullshit. Whoever this new person is that is coming into your life, they have been going through bad health is what I'm picking up here, okay? Now, because it also says time to act here, okay? 
So for some of you guys, again, now I'm tapping into different, you know, scenarios here. Um, I, oh yeah, that's the reason why I even started talking about it. So for some of you guys, you need to, um, for some of you guys, you need to regularly, regularly do a social media detox because again, you are highly sensitive and I feel like the internet can be a healing place, but it can also be so fucking toxic and full of like sick people and there are sick views on life and stuff like that. And, um, for some of you guys, you need to regularly do a social media detox every they're telling me every time you do a social media detox you bounce back like your energy is restored like oh my god you reach levels of peace and um, you know calmness and tranquility and clarity that is oh my freaking god <laughs> okay do you know what i'm actually being brought to i've seen like a short on youtube where <laughs> um i might be talking to someone who was masculine um but oh can I say something? I just heard you are not realizing that um, your sexual energy is healing. When people are intimate with you, you're healing them. Okay. That's what they're telling me. So I don't know who this person is. In case it is somebody you're going to be sexually intimate with, you're going to heal them. Every time they are intimate with you, they're healing. They might even be telling you that every time I am act like I'm with you, I can, maybe people have been telling that and you have not realized that it's not just a compliment, it's true. It's not just like people trying to be flattering or try to give you like a nice compliment. It's the truth, like where they say like they feel so much peace when they're with you or they can sleep properly when they're with you or they forget all their problems when they're with you they're not just saying that it's literally the truth your energy is so healing that people feel this way when they are with you and i feel like you are in case it is like your true love and your future spouse or kind of like someone that you're going to be intimate with you might heal them by being you know like one with their body like where your body becomes but one with their body and you might be healing them in that process okay i'm hearing sexual healing like you have sexual healing energy literally you have sexual healing energy you might actually help people to somehow embrace their sexuality or to somehow heal from something traumatic sexually okay something about your energy is sexually healing you might not be aware of it or you have such a something about your sexuality is very healthy or the way you embrace it or something about i don't know the way you give other people the room to be sensual and sexual and embrace their sexuality or their sensuality is like you're literally healing people by doing that okay or you're making i'm hearing you're making a big dent or you are you're, I'm hearing you're so important to a lot of people's life, you know, like you mark a huge milestone in people's life, especially when it comes to health or sexual healing of some sort. Again, I don't know what that means or it's a particular person here, okay? I'm being brought to sexual healing energy, okay? Um, now for some of you guys, something that I want to tell you guys is... Um, if you are pregnant right now, if you are pregnant right now or if someone is pregnant around you and you don't have a good feeling or they don't have a good feeling, don't hesitate to go to the doctor. Like, it's better to be safe than, than to be sorry, okay? Because someone here could feel like, um, someone could worry about their child, you know, when I feel like someone here could be pregnant and they might be worried about their child or you might come across somebody and they might tell you how they are concerned about their pregnancy or their child and your spirit guides are here and i'm hearing again this might be because i feel like this is like an energy that is coming your way and you're not realizing it does it make sense so your spirit guides are preparing you for that because i'm seeing someone coming into your life or someone already is in your life and they might be telling you like they worry about a pregnancy or they worry about like if their baby is okay or if their child is okay is what i'm picking up here okay and um you're the one that is going to encourage them to go to the doctor because they actually really have to go to the doctor. There really is something that needs special attention. Does it make sense? Where you might also feel like, for example, someone might be telling you, hmm, I feel like, uh, you know, I feel like my child has been acting up. And, you know, if you look at the child, you would be like, yeah, I also feel like, you know, that, you know, something is different about this child. 
um, and you're going, you're going to encourage this person to go to the doctor and they're going to somehow find something. Does that make sense? It doesn't have to be anything like big. This could be a child is neurodivergent. This could be a child has special needs of some sort or something about, you know, like, um, the sugar levels are dropping. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be anything like huge, but I feel like you are going to encourage somebody to go to the doctor or to check on their pregnancy and stuff like that. And it was necessary to do this because maybe this person who is pregnant, they need like a special herb or a special medication to stabilize the pregnancy and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like you're going to, your intuition is going to tell you, Listen, for some of you guys, what you don't realize is you have a strong intuition when it comes to children. You know when a child is not doing well or something about like this is also going to be part of your destiny or your path to somehow, you know, like um, speak up about a child not being okay or you having um, a bad feeling about a child's health. Um because you're so connected to children that you can see when they're not doing well or when something is not right father sophia this could be connected to like pregnancy because i'm being brought to um do you call it a doula you could have been um a doula or like a how do you call that you could have worked in the i think you call it doula you guys know what i mean right because i don't know the english word right now where you assist in someone giving birth you might have done something like that in your past life or you might be drawn to that energy or something about like i'm being brought to a goddess i'm being brought to a goddess that or you might be connected to a goddess or you might have like a goddess or an energy around you that is connected to fertility because i almost want to say there is something about where you know a lot about fertility or you will know a lot about fertility you know in the upcoming weeks or something about like for example you might also have like this um you might have that you might have the ability to know when people are pregnant or when something is wrong with someone's pregnancy do you know what i mean um because you are supposed to somehow keep children safe during their pregnancy i know it's really out there but it's going to resonate for someone not for everybody of course okay or for others of you you know this is your like your purpose to go in that direction when it comes to fertility and children and stuff like that because you somehow have like a like an instinct or a radar when it comes to children and if they're okay or um you know how to help children to somehow go through something very heavy is what i'm picking up here okay now for others of you because um now we're gonna look at this main female here because it seems to it looks like you are about to meet someone new and this person could be a female but it says main female telling me this female or this female energy is going to play a big role in your life does that make sense she's going to play a big role in your life or she's going to teach you something big or she's going to somehow say something that is very significant in your life it might just be one sentence but it makes such a huge difference in your life it's a turning point meeting her is a turning point okay and you are about to meet her because we have the family room here so for some of you guys she is part of your soul tribe as well as this masculine energy i'm telling you there's two people coming into your life um and they are part of your soul tribe and what i want to say here is because the family room talks about um timing and it says between 24 hours to four weeks and you know the funny thing is when i was um the funny thing is when i was um you know shuffling your cards and stuff like that one card dropped and it said short journey meaning and um this card right here if you look at the guidebook this card usually means that um it usually means that something is happening soon or something is arriving soon again in the guidebook it, in the guidebook it says between 24 hours to four weeks so you could be meeting um a new person or a new soulmate um a month from now or within the next four weeks okay and they somehow it's like a turning point or it's significant that you cross path with this person okay i don't know where this is going but it's a significant meeting here with these two people okay now let's look at this main female who, who she is okay so this main female came out with a children card okay so this main female that you are meeting here um she could be 
um, a single mom. She could already have children. She could be the mom of twins, okay? So she could be a person who already has children, okay? Is what I'm picking up here. And you might end up having a strong connection to her child, where her child is kind of like your soulmate or her child is going to marry your child in the future. Does that make sense where her child is connected to the birth of your child somehow, some way, or you both are going to end up being pregnancy around the same time? Something about she is very much connected to children. She might have children. She might work with children. She might have a big heart um you know for children okay or this might be a childhood friend where you haven't met this person in years but you guys went to the same elementary school you guys went to the same high school so this might be a high school sweetheart but in a way where it's like well for some of you guys it could actually in case you are looking for a female <laughs> if you're interested in females like romantically speaking um this could be you know a person that you were at some point you were in the same kindergarten you grew up in the same town you guys used to play with each other on the playground you know when you were younger is what i'm picking up here okay so you could be meeting somebody but this might actually be an energy where for some of you guys you maybe even have had a dream because i'm being brought to um Kino Tarot, maybe you guys watch her, and I remember that she told a story about how she had a dream of her partner, her current partner, when she was eight years old. So this could also be somewhat significant where this woman, this woman is going to remind you of a childhood dream, like literally a dream that you had that is going to make sense now. Okay, but yeah, I'm being brought to kind of like you maybe haven't known this person before when you were younger in elementary school in kindergarten in your childhood somehow somewhere you used to be you used to live in the same apartment or whatever you guys you you guys used to play on the playground of some sort um again for others of you she has children or she has a huge heart for children or um something about children and she's going to somehow be connected to children or even to your pregnancy okay because i'm also being brought to this one scene in sex in the city where charlotte has been desperately trying to conceive a baby or have a child and nothing worked and then she came across a woman who told her about acupuncture in order to increase your fertility and somehow i don't know i feel like it helped her or something along those lines so this could also be somehow significant okay um, a conversation about how to increase your fertility is what i'm picking up here okay for others of you i'm gonna be honest because we have here heartache over what you no longer have for others of you you could be meeting this female and as you are meeting her she might go through the loss of something you know like i don't want to talk too much about it but she she might be going through you know something very traumatic when it comes to like i feel like you're going to help her heal does that make sense so you might meet her in a very vulnerable energy because she um she lost something when you meet her does that make sense and you're going to help her to get out of this dark hole and um, kind of like where you help each other. She might lead you to somehow succeed at something and you're, you're leading her to um, successfully heal from this loss that she's going through. Okay, I don't want to fucking cry. <laughs> okay, let me get one more card to you who she might be. Give me a moment, guys. And then we're going to look at this mature man. Okay, so for some of you guys, it could be love because when I was shuffling the cards, I was asking about who is this new person that is entering your life and the love card came out. So you might have a lot of love for this person or this person is a very loving, trustworthy individual. For some of you guys, it could be literally romantic here. I could be talking about your future stars. I could be talking about your true love. I could be talking about a significant soulmate here. Okay, um, can you clarify this main female energy here? What is that about? If you, for some of you guys, if you have a feeling that someone is not treating their children right, um, you might be right about that, okay? Where you maybe have a feeling like uh, this person is not treating their children right. 
um, you might be right about that, but I don't, you know, I don't really know what that means. Okay, where it's gonna come out that you were right about a person not treating their children well is what I'm picking up here as well. Okay, um, let's see. What is who's this dark woman? Oh yeah, she could be a dark woman. She could have like dark hair, dark eyes, a dark complexion. She could be tan. Okay. Who's this main finger here? What is that energy about? Look at that. It says lighthearted, carefree time. Okay, and then it says wealth. I'm telling you. Do you know what this feels like to me? I'm gonna be super duper blunt. I feel like this woman, she is good at making money, but her health is suffering does that make sense she knows exactly what to do how to manifest money but she might not be coming back to the same topic she might not be good at healing or she might need some extra help and some extra love from a person like you to heal okay so others of you you're both going to manifest wealth together you and her <laughs> okay after you maybe help her to get out of this funk um, it says lighthearted, carefree time. Because again, she is usually a very lighthearted, free-spirited individual. But around the time when you meet her, she's going through something. And she really needs a beautiful soul like you in her life at this time. Okay. Now, let's look at this mature man. So this mature man, this could be a man that is just older than you. This could just be a man that is very mature. So he could be... I don't know 26 years old but in his mind he's very mature for example he's already ready for commitment he already wants to have children or so for some of you guys this mature man again could be romantically but this could also be a mentor a teacher that you are meeting or someone's dad someone's grandpa is going to play a big role in your life um but yeah, this mature man, again, he could also be a younger man, but he's very mature or very wise, or his soul is the soul of like a mature man, meaning that he is no longer in his fuckboy energy, or he is no longer in his, you know, like not wanting to be committed, not wanting to have any responsibilities. He's already out of that stage in his life, no matter what his age is. Okay, or he could be very emotionally mature where he has conversations instead of throwing a temper tantrum he doesn't play games he talks about his feelings he's trying to make relationships work and you don't have to be freaking you know like 30 years old or whatever or 40 or 50 you know this could also be a young man but you will feel like damn you know you're very mature for your age is what i'm hearing okay um for some of you guys if you already have children and you do not have a good feeling about someone being around your children listen to that as well is what i'm picking up here okay kind of like listen to your motherly instincts when it comes to your children um and don't let people tell you that you are exaggerating or whatever again i'm hearing it's better to be safe than, than to be sorry but let's look at this masculine energy here okay so we have the mature man here okay and it says gifts okay the card gifts came out with this mature man and then it says happiness and flowers so for some of you guys what you're not seeing is that you are about to receive like flowers from a masculine energy or a masculine energy is coming your way to give you a gift because it also says january so this masculine energy this man here um he could be born in the month of january he could be approaching you in the month of january Okay, something about where you are about to receive a gift from a mature man, but this mature man could also be this new person that is coming into your life. And I'm seeing here that this man, he is someone who likes to, his love language could be gift giving or he's going to shower you with compliments is what I'm picking up here. Okay, something about where he's going to be so mesmerized by you and he's going to admire you so much and maybe he's asking you to learn something from you because something that you know or something that you're good at, he is not good at and he wants to learn from you. Okay, but yeah, because I'm hearing, I can buy myself flowers, but write my name in the sand, 
talk to myself for hours but it's connected to this mature man okay so there i feel like an energy where a man is about to enter your life and again i don't know who they are they someone want to do something good for you they want to give you a gift they want to you know like protect you or help you of some sort okay is what i'm picking up here i'm also i could also be picking up on someone's grandpa like you have a grandpa or a dad or a masculine energy and spirit that is watching over you um and i feel like you know if your spirit guide is like a you know like your dad your uncle on the other side they might be telling you that a gift is about to come to you kind of like a surprise is about to come to you and the surprise could be connected to a new person where your spirit guides are telling you we are sending this person into your life now okay very soon there could be something that you're not seeing as well that your spirit guides are somehow guiding someone to come into your life right now at this time or you are about to receive a gift in the month of january or very soon okay from a masculine energy here that is going to make you very happy it's kind of like your spirit guides trying i'm hearing um when when someone gives you your flowers okay where someone is going to really the light the lights just went on where someone is really going to appreciate how much you do for them and they're somehow going to return the favor okay not that you're asking for anything but i'm seeing like a gift coming to you because you helped somebody out of the kindness of your heart does it make sense and you're going to be maybe like shocked about it or you don't see that coming because you didn't want anything from this person but um they're somehow going to make you happy with the gift that they're going to give to you okay look at that it says great good fortune four leaf clovers for some of you guys you could have maybe seen four leaf clovers um or maybe four leaf clovers could be significant irish energy could be significant for example or green energy you could have been very drawn to green energy lately okay but yeah it says four leaf clover there's something about you're gonna be very happy about a gift you're gonna feel like you're the luckiest woman or the luckiest man alive because of a gift or again a four leaf clover is a very rare um something it's like a it's like a something very rare in nature right so this could be an energy where this masculine energy he's very rare or something about him is very rare okay let's see can you clarify this mature man here what is this mature man energy about we have here the cup it says you should accept valid criticism so for some of you guys you could be um getting an invitation to go to a coffee you know like grabbing a coffee here okay is what i'm picking up or someone is going to thank you that you were honest with them and gave them real criticism or again coming back to what i said where what you don't see is someone is about to come to you and tell you i'm sorry i didn't believe you you were right and you maybe didn't expect this person to do that like you were like oh man you know this person is a lost cause they're never going to see the truth they're never going to believe me so there could be an energy where someone is about to come to you and tell you i'm sorry i didn't believe you you were right about what you said maybe you warned them don't do that it's not good for your health don't do that or you know like um, you should maybe like let go of something you somehow were criticizing them but from the kind like from your heart like hey i worry about you you know something along those lines and i feel like they might be coming back to you and they might be telling you that you were right about it that's what i'm picking up here like i'm sorry you were right about it i didn't want to believe it until i saw it myself something along those lines and you might be shocked about it because you already gave up on this person like seeing the truth because you thought they were always going to be manipulated and they would never see clearly or they would never see the truth does that make sense something like that is what i'm picking up here as well Again, for others of you, this is a new person that is coming into your life and they're somehow going to come with a gift. I don't know. Or this could be a very generous individual. Does that make sense? They like to give gifts. Their love language is gift giving. Um, this could also be a very romantic man, for example, like where you're going to be shocked about how romantic he or she is. Well, he is um, because he doesn't look romantic. Do you know what I mean? So there could be romance coming into your life is what I'm picking up here. And I feel like you don't see that coming. But we have two sim like we have two symbols of good luck here. Okay. So I feel like what you're not seeing is that very shortly from 
whenever you watch this reading, you know, one month from now, your life, you will feel like you were blessed by the gods with a lot or everything or so many blessings come to you at once and you might not be seeing that right now because you might be overstimulated right now. You might, you know, your health might not be good right now. It's almost as if like, you know, the change that is going to take place in just one month is going to baffle you or it's going to surprise you or it's going to shock you how things can just change in one night or one day. Whereas right now you might be feeling like Ugh, I'm over it or, you know, like I need a break or I feel overstimulated or I feel burned out. They're telling me like soon a lot of things are about to change in your life or something significant is about to take place with a significant person. Um, in your life and again I feel like they're gonna somehow do something like you did something for them and they want to somehow give something back to you and whatever they give back to you you're gonna cry about it or you're gonna be so happy that you know you didn't expect anything in return but they're gonna do it because you know you helped them you were there and I feel like you're gonna be like oh my god you know I feel so blessed and I feel so lucky or I feel so loved, I feel so recognized, you know, like my efforts are recognized or something along those lines is what I'm picking up here or they're gonna help you with something like you needed something and they have it and they needed something and you have it. Does that make sense? Something like that is what I'm picking up here. Moving Lion King could be significant for you right now. Okay, soon a lot is about to happen in your life. That's what I'm picking up here because again, the Eight of Wands, it literally says swiftness. This card, this card right here talks about something is happening soon or something is arriving soon between 24 hours and 4 weeks from whenever you're watching this. That's what the guidebook says about this card right here. And this one here, again, also says swiftness, okay? So for some of you guys, I feel like you are about to get surprised by an invitation that you didn't see coming, okay? Or you being invited to a gathering that you didn't see coming. Now, one more thing that I want to talk about here with the salt and the boundaries card. I think I'm actually going to read it from the guidebook because this might be significant for someone here. Okay, where you might not be noticing that, you know, oh, you might not be noticing that you need to set better boundaries. Like you could be feeling overstimulated or you could be feeling in bad health because again, something is um, affecting you more than you think. Does that make sense? Scrolling on Instagram affects you more than you think. Um, you know, like um, going to bed too late affects you more than you think. And it somehow creates a ripple effect when you're, where you're going to end up feeling burnt out or overstimulated or you're going to feel like, man, my health is really suffering. But you could easily fix it if you would set better boundaries with something here because you might be saying, oh, it doesn't affect me that much, but it actually affects you more than you think. Does that make sense? For others of you, again, we come back to the same energy with the boundaries. You set boundaries with a person you said no okay i need to set boundaries this is not good for me and someone could have said like you're doing too much um you know where they say or where someone thinks you are exaggerating it's not affecting you as much as you say it does and i do feel like they might be coming back they might be coming back and saying like hey um I'm sorry, you know, because I now see what you mean. I now know why you set certain boundaries. And again, it might catch you off guard or by surprise because you already made peace with the fact that you are the bad guy in the story. Does that make sense for someone here? Um, but let me see what the boundaries energy is here about. Yeah, and the card right here, I don't know how much you can see, but one, um, one bottle says purity. So you're not realizing that you have a very pure energy, like a lot purer than other people, okay? Or your mind is a lot more pure than other people or your aura is a lot more pure than other people because you're good at cleansing and purifying yourself and healing yourself. It doesn't come as easy to other people as it comes to you, okay? But let me see. Let me look what the salt energy is about. I'm also hearing... Don't trust everything that you see. Even salt looks like sugar. Okay. So it says, oh yeah, look at that. Um, boundaries protecting your energy, queen of swords. It says, salt is one of the most important tools in a witch's cabinet and is often used to cast a circle of protection before performing a spell. Sprinkle salt around your home and along your windows and doors to keep negative energy out and use it to clear harmful vibrations that are directed towards you. 
Okay, when thought comes into a reading, it is because you require protection and need to take steps to establish st stronger boundaries. So for some of you guys, you've already done that. Um, and for others of you, you might have to, you know, um, amp up your protection right now in this very moment, okay? Or have better boundaries again. Listen, for some of you guys, I'm gonna be very honest, because I pick up like you're watching something and it's affecting you more than you think. This could be a content creator, this could be like watching too much tarot, this could be um, you follow somebody on Instagram, on TikTok, on whatever app and this person's vibration or energy is not good for you but you still watch them but it's somehow you can notice every time you watch them, you know, afterwards you feel off but you tell yourself, I'm like, I should like, you know, you tell yourself you're imagining it. Does that make sense? So there could be a person that you're still following or watching and their energy is not good for you anymore or um, something about like their energy is not healthy for you anymore. Um, this could be a person who has bad health, but they try to give other people advice. Does that make sense? But their advice comes from a place of bad health, like where they're not healed yet. Their advice could, could, could come from a hurt place where they have not yet gained the wisdom of the healing journey. Does it make sense? So something along those lines, you could be watching somebody that their energy and their vibration might not be, again, you're sensitive, you're sensitive to this person's vibration, but you might not be realizing it. Or you might tell yourself like, oh, I'm just, you know, like, it's just in my mind that I'm, you know, reacting to this person's content or energy or whatever, something like that. I feel like you need to let go of something that you watch or somebody that you watch, okay, for some of you guys. Um, it's somehow going to make a huge difference. I don't know what that means. Okay, and for others of you, this is about you need to disconnect from social media and reconnect to your soul. Okay, or spend less time on social media and spend more time meeting people or spend more time in nature. Um, it's going to be very healing for you right now. Or you're going to rapidly heal or rapidly grow or rapidly have like super duper cool ideas about how to make wealth and money and you know how to create wealth and fortune in your life as soon as you start your social media detox okay um it says it is because you require protection and need to take steps to establish stronger boundaries it is your responsibility to teach others how to it is your responsibility to teach others how to respect your needs you may hope others will intuitively know how to treat you but remember that every being is experiencing their own hardships, lessons, and triggers. They may have blocks that prevent them from instinctive, instinctively recognizing boundaries that seem obvious to you. This is not an excuse to treat you poorly, but it is a reason enough for you to speak up and communicate your needs rather than expecting someone f to guess. Um, and of course, there are people who will push boundaries to breaking points. Some may even be doing it intentionally. Stand firm. Standing firm lets them know that while they may push, you will not motherfucking break. <laughs> okay. One more thing that I wanted to talk about here is, because I was asking the someone new, this person that is entering your life, who are they? Um, we have your dating queen and it's funny because in this card, she's receiving a lot of like presents. So um, I feel like you are about to enter a stage in your life where it's like can i be honest with you guys it's kind of like the energy where you had to go through the experience of having nothing so that you don't lose yourself when you manifest everything or when you have everything you know how some people lose their morals and their character and they lose their you know their integrity when they get everything that they want they become spoiled brats and for some of you guys you were supposed to go through a stage in your life where you have nothing so that you don't lose yourself when you receive everything or when you manifest everything does that make sense this is what i'm being brought up for someone here because it looks like she's receiving a lot of like gifts you are entering um a chapter in your life that is full of abundance where everything looks like flowers and rainbows and sunshine right but that's not the whole story of life so you had to go through one stage in your life so that you realize that you know the world is made out of rain as well as sunshine and not and not only sunshine if that makes sense okay a flower needs 
rain and sunshine to grow so yeah this could be connected to your dating life okay so you could be meeting a lot of people in your dating life or you're going to get approached by a lot of like people um when it comes to your dating life is what i'm picking up here okay for some of you guys what you're not seeing is that you are or will be gossiped about because someone wants you or someone wants to go on a date with you so you might be the center of attention very soon because there's a woman or there's a man that wants you you go on a date with him or her and he or she might have people that want him or her so you could soon be the topic of the town or you could be starting to be i don't know like the topic of gossip because of you dating somebody which might be the other reason why your spirit gets a saying pound number one needs a break before they have to deal with more haters or more gossip or more slander in case you have been going through something like that okay and it says true gem here so with the true gem energy here this could be somehow connected sometimes the gem energy stands for engagement like an engagement energy or an engagement ring so for some of you guys it could be your true love in your future spouse for others of you this could just be a very significant soulmate that you meet before for your true love and your future spouse or just like a person where you feel like you were blessed by the gods with this new person with this friend like this person i'm hearing um girls wait diamonds are a girl's best friend so this person could end up being your best friend this person could end up being a, a very significant soulmate in your life this person could end up somehow being the reason why you get engaged being the reason why you meet your future spouse this could be your future spouse does that make sense that's going to be different for all of you but it seems to be a very significant person we have a diamond here okay this is a very significant person that is entering your life okay but again there could be an energy where you are about to be you might be the talk of the town very soon or you already are okay is what i'm picking up here and for others of you one more thing for others of you um there might be an energy where gossiping is not good for you where you f gossiping i'm hearing don't bond over because there's like this one quote where it says like don't use gossiping as a tool to bond with each other so for some of you guys um your spirit guides might be saying that gossiping is not good for your health okay that every time you gossip you feel bad or it's not good for your conscience to gossip and they want you to stop gossiping in case you do okay um for someone here in particular i don't know it might be for someone here for others of you you are going to be um you know the talk of the town because you're dating someone here or you are befriending somebody um for some odd reason i don't know what the heck that means okay or this person that you are meeting they are the victim of gossip and slander and you come in like a hero you come in like a vampire slayer okay so pile number one that's all i have for you guys i hope you like this reading i hope this helped you i'm going to see my next one and i wish you a lovely day bye my loves hello my beautiful pal number two welcome to your reading guys so as you can tell by the title we're going to look at what is going on around you that you are not seeing that you are not aware of what is going on behind your back what is going on behind the scenes what might be going on in the spiritual realm something about where there's an energy around you and you cannot pinpoint it or signs and synchronicities that don't really make sense to you so we're basically going to look at what is happening around you what's going on <laughs> that you're not fully aware of um or kind of like something that is in your energy or in your aura um that you are not fully aware of okay so let me tap into your energy guys <clears throat> yes i changed the light <laughs> in case you are wondering so let me tap into the energy here i'm also a little bit more mellow than usual today is a mellow day for your girl <laughs> okay Ooh. okay okay mm. i'm already channeling okay so if i do like mm -mm, I'm, I'm already channeling the energy here so give me a moment guys what is pile number two not seeing? I'm going to zoom you guys in and then we're going to talk about everything. But listen, 
Pound number two, I don't know what in the world you are doing, but you are about to manifest like it's nothing. We have cards here that are so positive, like it's crazy. We have like two manifestation cards here. Let me zoom you guys in. The cards that came out are bonkers, okay? Oh, do you know what I'm being brought to? I'm being brought to Kit Kali. I'm going to put the song. Oh, yes. Okay, listen. I'm going to zoom you guys in. We're going to talk about everything. Okay. Let me spill the tea. <clears throat> okay. Let me show you the cards. We have here the card Great Fortune. This is the most positive card in the Lenormand deck. So if you have like fortune telling cards, this is the most positive card that can possibly come out. The Great Fortune card is all about what it literally says great fortune this might be like great fortune in love great fortune in your health great fortune in money great fortune in whatever okay something about um great fortune is coming your way or something super like a huge manifestation is coming to you huge abundance let me show you the cards that came out for you guys so that you understand like your cards are incredible okay so the most positive card that comes out in a deck we're going, actually going to read from the guidebook what the great fortune energy is about but we have great fortune here this is goddess fortuna you know you could also compare her to goddess lakshmi which is you know indian goddess of abundance we have the abundance card here itself okay we have here the magician which always talks about manifestation then we have here the card, your manifestation is here now. Something could happen any moment from now. Saying your manifestation is here now, okay? And then we also have the card here, the Nine of Cups. This is about happiness, wish fulfillment, celebrating that a wish has been fulfilled, okay? For some odd reason, I'm being brought to Kit Kati, but I'm actually gonna explain to you guys what this is about. Um, we also have you the card as above, so below, manifestation again. Okay, so I don't know if you guys have been putting a lot more effort into manifesting. I don't know if you've been changing the way you do manifest, if you have been trying to experiment or you have been really trying to study, you know, what manifestation or what the love, what manifestation is really about, or you have been trying to figure out what you actually want to manifest. For some of you guys, this is all about where you are in an energy, you're trying to be clear about like, what do I look for in a partner, in a man, in a woman? What do I look for? Like, what does success mean to me? You know, like what would actually truly genuinely make me happy? You know, so for some of you guys, you are in the energy of like, um, before we talk about what you don't see <laughs> or what is going on around you, I almost want to say you might have a blind spot coming. You, the blind spot that I'm picking up here might be connected to you don't realize like how far you are on your journey to manifest something. Like you could be thinking it takes another one or two years when it takes just two months from now. Does that make sense where your manifestation is already like, around the corner and you might not be realizing it or something about where you we're going to talk about everything but there's something about like you might be a better manifesto than you think you are okay or something about like you changing your manifestation technique is going to make such a huge difference it's going to have such a ripple effect is what i'm picking up here okay um for others of you this is something about again your manifestation is like closer to you than you think Okay, so it's literally about to tap you on your shoulders, but you might think, oh, you know, maybe in spring, maybe in summer season, you know, but it's like literally around the corner, it says something could happen any moment from now, okay? So I feel like what you are not seeing is that the manifestation is around the corner and it's gonna come to you faster than you think, or it's not as far away as you think it is, okay? Um, so yeah, the cards are freaking bonkers. So again, if you have been changing the way you manifest, whatever you are doing, something about where you are, where you are amplifying or you are enhancing your ability to manifest times three or whatever. Does it make sense? There's something about like a 
I don't know, for others of you, I'm hearing you cracked the code. You will be cracking the code a couple of days from now, okay? Because the card also says you will be shown the way the candle. For some of you guys, this is about candle magic. Like your candle magic is about to manifest big time. For some of you guys, it might even be an energy where you think something is manifesting when the candle is burned down, but something is gonna manifest before the candle's burned down. Does that make sense? Or let me, for example, um, you are ordering something like oh you know i want to manifest like a, a new job so you might be manifesting like a candle from etsy to manifest a new job but the candle comes to you you know the delivery time is a long time let's say for example it takes four weeks because it's overseas or whatever just an example to describe the energy okay so let's say for example you are ordering something and it's supposed to come four weeks from now like a candle to manifest something you might be manifesting whatever you are trying to manifest before the candle arrives that you were rigid that you originally planned to use does that make sense? So you're like, okay, you know, the candle's gonna come and then I'm gonna manifest, but maybe you you just kind of like where the manifestation comes to you before you can even purchase a new candle. Does that make sense? For others of you, there's something about like your way to manifest could actually be candle magic where you are going to realize that because everybody has a different way of manifesting. So you could be, listen, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you are figuring out what your perfect manifestation technique is you know kind of like where you are perfecting and customizing the way you manifest because sometimes we get lost because we use strategies and techniques from other people that don't work for us is what i'm picking up here okay so i feel like for some of you guys you could be what you are not seeing is that you are about to crack the code or you already cracked the code okay is what I'm picking up you or something about like candle magic your candle magic is manifesting even though you feel like oh nothing is happening you know like I'm putting on the candle and stuff like that and I'm dreaming but I don't know if it's if it's doing anything but it is does that make sense where you already activated the energy in the air for something to manifest even though you don't see and you listen even though you don't see anything that's what it is okay for others of you your spirit guides are trying to guide you right now to your manif to the perfect manifestation technique for you okay where you maybe are doing something that is not the right path for you and what your spirit guides they're saying what you are not seeing is that they're trying to guide you in a different direction when it comes to how you manifest something or how you practice magic okay because there might be something that is more powerful or that is going to make you a lot happier like where there's something different for example you try journaling but it's really not your thing maybe your spirit guides are guiding you to visualize more or maybe you are visualizing but it's not your thing and they're trying to guide you to journal more does it make sense something along those lines here okay but i was i'm channeling the song by kit Cuddy. the song is called get off get off of me okay or get off me um I want to read out the lyrics okay because Kit Cudi dropped an album I don't know if someone here is dropping an album or someone here oh are you launching something or are you working on launching something okay because that's what I'm being brought to I feel like someone is working on launching something or someone is like working on like a bigger project is what I'm picking up here okay um Kit Cudi get off me I think that's what it's called yeah okay i'm gonna put the song down in the description box and the intro is so cool okay um funny is someone here a dj or someone wants to become a dj <laughs> because the intro is the intro is by dj drama so i don't know what the heck that means um it says question and then the song says zombie on the track so i don't know if you have been drawn to like zombie movies or whatever question what is it called when your music changes the world i call it magic welcome to magic city everybody leaves with a smile on their face when wizards collide things get monumental Things get legendary. Some things may never be the same. It's what I was waiting for. Now watch the competition disappear. Poof. <laughs> I'm gonna put the song down in the description box. It's a very like, 
you know those sounds where it sounds like a champion like a championship or like a you know like when someone is about to receive like a trophy or a reward that's the vibe from the song and i feel like that's the energy that is around you kind of like you i'm hearing you have the energy to win or you 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 vibrate on a frequency of a winner or a champion literally i don't know what you are doing i don't know what you have been doing but something about your energy is very strong very fertile right now even though you don't see nothing right now that's the whole point of the reading okay now listen um let me show you the card here where I was like, mm, mm, I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay, so we have here this card. I think it's the six of, I don't know. It, it might be the six of swords because I don't feel like it's the six of wands. I feel like it might be the six of swords or the six of, yeah, it might be the six of swords. I feel like that's the six of swords here, but you can see this is like this. What are you, what, what are these things called where you scare away crows? So for some of you guys, there could have been symbolism connected to crows or black feathers, okay, or the color black in general, I don't know why, let's see, um, we call it scarecrow, yeah, it's because I feel like there is an energy around you that is trying to scare you, okay, okay, listen, two things, one, you might not be realizing that someone is scared of your potential or your energy, okay? Someone could be thinking you are like a witch or a wizard because you, there's something like the energy around you is like different or um, someone could be just like, how can I explain that? Someone feels like you are very powerful and it like it's scaring them or intimidating them. Okay, that might be something that you are not aware of. We're going to talk about who this is. For others of you, I feel like someone is trying to scare you away from something. It's kind of like, let's say, for example, you make a new friend. Okay, let's say, for example, you met Lisa, you like Lisa, you guys are friends, or you guys, you know, befriend each other. But Lisa has her friend, uh, I don't know, Joanna. And Joanna wants to scare you away because Joanna wants to be the only one that is friends with Lisa. So Joanna is like trying to make you feel very uncomfortable or stare you down or trying to scare you away. I feel like there's an energy that is trying to scare you away because they feel like you are competition because in the, in the song they say, watch how the competition disappears, poof. So someone could be seeing you as competition right now. Someone is, um, you know, like a secretly competing with you someone is secretly watching you as competition someone is trying to somehow get rid of you because again in the song they say watch how the competition disappears so the pushback or the fear that you might be feeling is because someone actually wants to scare you away from doing something from attending something from being around somebody okay so you could feel an energy around you, kind of like where it's mixed signals. One energy tells you like you are about to manifest all of your dreams and all of your wishes and you are about to thrive and shine and, you know, manifest all your dreams. And then there's another energy where you, I'm hearing you feel fear the future or something about where listen i feel like there's something about like um anxiety that you you there's no trigger for the anxiety it's just there or there's no or maybe for example you feel like you've done better with the anxiety and all of a sudden it comes back out of nowhere but again it doesn't seem to have a trigger because the card here with the seven of swords it's a, it says the seven of utility so it's kind of like i don't even know where this anxiety comes from for others of you you recently manifested something very beautiful you manifested like something huge you're like damn you know man i'm strong my energy is like powerful and potent for me to manifest something like that you know and you didn't even reach your full potential but it's kind of like it's announcing like if you can manifest something like that I don't know what it is for example a job without having the credentials what else can you manifest maybe someone has been having the same thoughts like if they see you manifesting your dream job even without you having the credentials or having the experience or it's very hard to get the job but you do get the job somehow some way they might be thinking if Panama 2 can manifest something like this this what else can they manifest does that make sense so someone could have like these thoughts in their mind right now and they might be 
They might be scared that you manifest all your dreams and your wishes because you could be proving them wrong. This could be a person who doesn't believe in manifestation and seeing you fail would um, would back them up in their claim or their belief that manifestation is not real. Does it make sense? It's a little bit twisted how this person is thinking. And for others of you, this is literally someone trying to scare you away. They don't want you to come to this party because they think that their man is going to look at you. Like there's something where someone is secretly in competition with you. Someone is secretly scared of your potential. Someone secretly thinks that if you manifest whatever you want to manifest, they feel like you will leave them behind. Kind of like you will look for better friends. You will look for a better partner. Do you know what I mean? Where someone thinks that when you manifest your dreams and your wishes, you will not care about them anymore. So they might be maybe consciously or subconsciously trying to sabotage you. They're not, listen, your energy is too powerful, but that could be the reason of maybe fears or nightmares that you have because they're not, um, they're not bad omens. Does it make sense? But you might feel like there's like a mix, like you feel like, damn, you know, something big is coming my way, but you also feel like, damn, what is that energy? Like, why do I feel anxiety or why do I see like these bad omens? Does that make sense? But it's kind of like it's a person trying to stop you from reaching your goals because again, they feel like you, you might be like your power might scare them. Does that make sense? Or you reaching your goals is scaring them because when they see you succeed, they will have to confront their regret that they didn't do certain things. Does that make sense? Where you reaching your goals, it's going to somehow trigger like a ego death in them and they're trying to prevent that. Okay, so that could be the reason why you feel anxiety or maybe a little bit of dark energy around you or heavy energy around you because someone is literally trying to scare you away. Now, for others of you, because in your reading, I was talking about how I am a little bit more mellow today than usual because you guys know I'm sometimes like super bubbly and excited and I stutter and tremble over my words and then, you know, today I'm very calm and mellow. Um, for others of you, I feel like what you are not realizing is again that someone is triggered by you or triggered by your bubbly, happy energy. Like it's too much happiness or too much joy for them. Like you radiate joy and happiness so much so that... I don't know, it somehow triggers them, okay? And again, they might be trying to... How can I explain that energy? I feel like someone is triggered by you and you are not fully realizing it, which is good, you know? It's good to not realize when someone is like... I feel like you do realize it, but you maybe don't know where it comes from, is what I'm trying to say here. Um, but yeah, someone might be trying to kind of like... Um, wash the grin out of your face they don't want you to be bubbly because i don't know they they somehow get triggered when you're happy and bubbly i don't know or this could be i don't know what that listen i, I don't understand these people so i don't really know why it is like that or what that really means but someone could be very like someone could be jealous of like your happiness or your joy or you being bubbly or whatever and they're trying to like i'm hearing them telling you calm the fuck down or you know like um life is not a fairy tale or don't be so optimistic or someone doesn't want you to be optimistic or someone is trying to like suppress your bubbly optimistic energy somehow some way in your surroundings right now is what i'm picking up here okay um this could be something that is going on around you okay to be honest with you so if you have like again i feel like it's like an underlying anxiety or an underlying fear or this could be an energy where part of you tells you like you want to start this project or you want to do something and then there's part of you that tells you like don't do it it's um for example just gonna give an example okay um this could even be an energy uh of like i'm being brought to a parent that worries about their child and they kind of like where the child wants to do something that is going to bring a lot of success and joy to them but the child is like the parent wants the parent is like overly careful or the parent um is somehow how can i explain that energy you guys know what i mean right where there is a person and they maybe are trying to protect you but in protecting you they kind of like stop you from reaching your full potential so 
I don't know what exactly that means, okay? But we have here, it says, time to put all your energy into this. Put your 100% fully commit, okay? So for some of you guys, what you're not seeing is that it is the perfect timing for you to dive into the cold water and put all your effort and your energy into a project, into a new routine, into something here. It's a perfect time for you to work on a bigger project it's a perfect time for you to launch something for some of you guys okay um, and for others of you if you already know you have put all your effort all your sweat and tears into something your spirit guides are saying you are about to reach 100% meaning the manifestation is about to stand right the fuck in front of you okay that's something that you might not be seeing that it's literally about to be in front of you <laughs> okay um, because you might, you might be very hard on yourself where you feel like, no, I need to manifest more and I need to do more and stuff like that. Where in your perception, you think you have to do more to manifest, but in energy, you already put 100% into something and that's why it's coming to you, okay? Again, if you know you have been, I don't know, doing a 30-day challenge, two weeks, two months, um, you have been doing something consistently then your spirit guides want you to know you already put so much energy into this that i keep hearing that you cannot fail i did talk about that on patreon okay so my patreons maybe have chosen pile number two <laughs> okay because i did a collective reading um for my patreons and i talked about you cannot fail okay yeah but for others of you there might be a person like where a person is overly it's like a this could be an energy where someone in your life is like a how do you call it like a a person that is overly they're scared of everything and they their energy like they put fear into you that wasn't even there i'm hearing i'm seeing like the comment where you watch like random tiktok or shorts on youtube and sometimes there's a comment like new fear unlocked so you could have a person around you that their mental health is not the best and they might be the source of very unnecessary fear and worry because they their mind is going to places that are not rational does that make sense so they might be like coming to you with all their fears and stuff like that and then they also unlock new fears inside of you that are they these fears that they have they come from their bad bed to health does that make sense because with the futility, this is telling me this is like unnecessary fear or s scenarios that would never take place. But this might come from a person who is, um, you see, it's like they are a little bit like um, their mind is not the healthiest. And they might come to you and, you know, like tell you stuff. And then you have this fearful energy around you, even though your future is like, I'm hearing your future. How do you call it? Like the bag is saved or your future is secure that's the vibe that is surrounding you but there might be like unnecessary worry and fear because of a person around you that is scared or fearful they might do that intentionally they might do that unintentionally i don't know okay um for some of you guys this person that i'm talking about could be a person born in the month of august you could be a person born in the month of august okay um so yeah for some of you guys it's a person born in the month of august that is sending you like fearful energy again for some of you guys it's intentionally they want to scare you away or they want to get rid of you because they see you as competition for others of you this might be unintentionally this person is just not in the good headspace to give advice or to somehow guide you or go on this journey with you because their energy is very unhealthy and destructive and it's not helping right now at this time like you need to stay in your own bubble or in your own energy for some of you guys okay um but let me see what else is coming through through here okay i just want to see what the august energy here is about your reading was really like short pile number one was so long like god damn <laughs> okay but it's interesting again everything is an omen and i talk about like how your reading is short okay and it talks about like your manifestation is here now so something is going to happen very shortly after you watch this reading okay can you clarify your manifestation is here now it says advice from a friend dog barking this is like the energy of this person around you it's like a dog that is barking at the mailman the mailman didn't do anything but the dog is barking 
and then it's like it makes you feel like anxious or like jittery that's the vibe that i'm picking up from this person again for some of you guys who are doing this intentionally this could be again like a a friend that doesn't want you to lose weight because if you do lose weight what if you don't want to hang out with them anymore because they're still overweight you know and again it's unnecessary fear this is like they they think very um they their mind goes to places and scenarios that would never take place because if they knew you they would know that you would not do you know what i mean but in them doing that they sabotage the connection does that make sense so you could have like a person around you that i don't know they don't want you to go to the gym because maybe in the gym you meet a new friend again this person could have abandonment issues whoever i'm talking about here they could have abandonment issues so everything is a threat to them to lose you okay i don't know what that means okay but your spirit guides might be trying to explain to you why you have like fear or anxiety or why you sometimes have bad dreams because do you know what this reminds me of okay again for some of you guys this person is like uh they're doing it intentionally i'm not gonna lie for others of you do you know what i'm being brought to i'm being brought to harry potter you guys know i love harry potter you know that one i don't know which one it was it was the one where dobby um the where dobby was trying to stop harry potter from going to hogwarts because dobby was scared that something would happen to harry do you guys remember that movie that part of you know like uh, harry potter was it um it might have been harry potter and the prison of azkaban but i'm not sure or um harry potter and the order the F order of phoenix okay so phoenix symbolism could be significant in your life right now but that's the vibe that i'm picking up here like dobby was scared that harry potter would go to hogwarts he wanted to save him but he was sabotaging harry from going to hogwarts which was his like wish to go there <laughs> okay and it's funny because in the beginning of your reading i talked about like wizard energy okay um yeah so this is the vibe that i'm picking up so for some of you guys they're not doing it intentionally for others of you they do that they do do that intentionally okay look at that it says someone is leaving your life if you have been wishing to if you have been wishing for a sabotaging energy to leave your life or to be left alone or to you know where you somehow you, the universe puts you in a place where you don't have to see a bully or a person anymore it's manifesting right now okay so you could you you, you might be manifesting that you can finally leave a place a job that you can finally leave some type of environment that makes you feel anxious and unhappy okay is what i'm picking up here what is the your manifestation is here now it's interesting because in pound number one i talked about the symbolism of chairs so pound number one and pound number two could be you know connected they don't have to be okay we have your great passion mm. Yeah, I'm seeing it here. Give me a moment, guys. For someone here, you are sorry. <laughs> um, for some of someone here, you are manifesting that you're going viral somewhere. Okay, I don't know if it's Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. Someone here is about to go viral. Is something that I'm seeing here as well. Okay, someone could be going viral in the month of August. Someone could be going viral any moment from now. In case you're, yeah, for some of you guys, you're doing something online or you're trying to do something online. Okay, what is the manifestation energy? Look at that. It says the tower and the tower is like, it's huge. It's unexpected. Okay, it's a, <laughs> I'm hearing it's a firecracker. I'm hearing, I'm like a firecracker. I make it hot when I put on a show. And I just saw an elephant. So elephant symbolism could be significant or circus symbolism could be significant we have the tower here okay it says solid foundation success with effort i'm telling you okay so you're literally manifesting that you can finally leave something behind okay or that you can finally get away from somebody that you know is not good for you okay one more mm, let me see let me take this one right here one here is in an abusive relationship um 
and you have been praying to get out of it i'm seeing like uh, your spirit guides helping you with that okay someone here could be in an abusive relationship and you are trying to somehow escape or have the funds or the money to escape i'm seeing it manifesting here it's manifesting any moment from now so your spirit guides are saying continue to manifest continue to do your manifestation routine put all your 100 percent in it okay you're putting your 100 percent in it it's not going to waste it's going to manifest that's what they want you to know what is this manifestation energy here about look at that the dancer someone here could be trying to manifest something connected to dancing like you want to be part of a music video you want to somehow get the role Ooh, i'm i'm seeing someone here is getting a role in a movie oh my god who who are you listen if you're somehow on a website where you can get booked for your services like i'm being brought to actors i'm being brought to dancers singers you are about to get booked here okay and it might be a significant event that you're going to get booked for. I did talk about a DJ, right? Oh yeah, something about um, you, you might be getting booked for a significant event that is going to bring money to you or more money than you've ever seen or is going to help you. Ex it's going to bring the exact amount to you that you needed for something that you were worried about, okay? So yeah, I feel like here someone here could be manifesting that they are getting booked for a role, that they are getting a role in a movie. I'm seeing someone here being about to be on a TV show, reality TV show. So if you have been thinking about going to castings, please do it, okay? I'm seeing someone here getting like a contract from a model model agency and it's going to bring a lot of money to you, okay? Even if you are curvy, okay? I'm also being brought to plus size models here, okay? Whatever this is, it could be like someone manifesting like a contract with Fashion Nova with some type of like um, cider. I don't know what these other companies are. Okay, yeah, I'm being brought to plus size fashion or a plus size model for someone here in particular. Okay, or like a movie role, acting, like an acting movie. You know, no, but I mean, you could be also, you could also be chosen for a theater, a musical. Okay, someone is about to get like a, I mean, I'm being brought to Cirque du Soleil. I don't know why. Someone, you could be French or it could be from France or you you could be manifesting something that has something to do with Paris or France. Oh, yes, I'm seeing it here. For some of you guys, oh my God, someone, someone here, what you don't see is you will have your own exhibition at some point. Or you are about to meet somebody and they have their own exhibition or they have their own art gallery and you guys will come together. Yes, I'm seeing that here as well. Dang, you see all the crazy things that are in your energy? I told you. What in the world is going on here? Okay. For some of you guys, you have been wishing for a night out. Like you just want to go out and have fun and stuff like that. <laughs> okay. It's manifesting. Let's see. What is your manifestation is here now? What is the energy about? Look at that. The I'm telling you. Do you know what this... Every time I see this card right here. I know you guys cannot see much. Every time I look at this card, I'm being brought to Tomorrowland. Do you guys... Like, you guys know this huge event where there's so many DJs and so many, like... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, so many DJs. I think it's mostly techno music but i'm not sure i'm being brought to concerts festivals someone is going to get booked for a concert a festival maybe you are going to be the artist that performs before the main artist comes in okay that's what i'm being brought to as well um someone could be booking you as a dj damn i pick up so like the energy in your in your field in your aura is so cool i love it here <laughs> your spirit guides were just here um this is what I'm being brought to, okay? You could be trying to manifest concert tickets and you're like, damn, the concert is sold out, but I wanted to go there. You're manifesting concert tickets even though the concert was sold out or something about there's a significant concert about to take place that you're going to go to. Oh, yes, bitch, yes. <laughs> I'm seeing it here, okay? There's a significant, like, a concert and on that day you might meet the right people you talk to the right people you network with the right people does that make sense that somehow it's kind of like the go a golden ticket for you for like the next chapter of your life Ooh, bro the energy that i pick up here is phenomenal 
for some of you guys you are manifesting graduating with flying colors okay passing a test for some of you guys you already passed the test spiritually speaking but you might be very hard on yourself like damn you know i need to do better and stuff like that you're doing just fine okay that's what your spirit guides are saying someone here could also manifest a scholarship or something about like um I'm being brought to sports, like I'm being brought to athletes that get a scholarship and oh this is interesting because for some reason I'm being brought to a guy that I dated and I think he got a scholarship of some sort, like he was, he lived in Paris and then he moved to where I live but he was like a professional footballer, okay, so that could also be somehow significant, I don't know what the fuck that means, okay, I don't know if you're meeting someone like that, like a professional footballer or someone with a scholarship or you are the one that is manifesting that right now okay for others of you you are about to have a breakthrough when it comes to your weight loss or your journey to heal your body is what i'm hearing here as well or to heal your relationship to food or to heal your relationship with your body okay which is beautiful i love that Let's see, one more card. What is this manifestation here about? You might really be connected to pile number one. Okay, for someone here, not for everybody. This card here, he's playing chess, right? So I'm hearing checkmate. This is also about conquering an enemy. <laughs> okay, if you know, you have some dirty little <laughs> talked about it we talked about it watch how the competition competition disappears poof so someone tried to make you give up but they're the one that is going to give up and wave the white flag does that make sense i don't know what that means i don't know in which context okay this is what i'm being brought to every time i see this card i'm also being brought to harry potter i love harry potter and there was one what was that one i don't know which part of harry potter it was but you guys know or remember where ron had to play chess like he had to play chess in order for them to be allowed to go through a door so um this chess energy here again oh i did talk about that cracking the code checkmate mm, you might be close to um solving a riddle Oh, that's what it is. Yes, that's what it is. Okay. That's what it is. Solving a riddle. I don't know what... Because, you know, something about you are about to... I don't know. I see something here. I feel like you are about to somehow solve a riddle. Okay. Or again, this is checkmate against like some type of enemy where you can finally get away from some type of enemy or opponent that you could not avoid. Does that make sense where you had to be around them for some reason and you tried to kind of like get away from them and, you know, like live in peace or whatever? Okay, for someone here. One more. What is this manifestation energy about here? Unicorn. The color purple could be significant in your life right now. I'm hearing winter. So something significant is going to happen winter. Like, I think winter is until the... The calendar winter season? I think it's until the... Is it until the 21st of February? Is it? I'm not sure. Okay. For some of you guys, I'm hearing winter is significant to this manifestation or you had dreams about winter season. This could be significant here for others of you. Some are connected to the color purple. I don't know. The spirit guide that I'm channeling here, they could be talking to you through the color purple um, and light blue or turquoise or even the crystal turquoise or amethyst crystals or something like that, okay? Um... It says, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. So something is about to manifest. Your intuition told you it, 
your intuition told you this is about to manifest but again you were doubtful but this doubt came from a person that has the energy of Dobby Dobby trying to you know like um, make Harry Potter not go to Hogwarts and you know what Dobby also did in the movie Dobby was hiding the letters that Hermione and Ron have been sending Harry so Harry thought like Hermione and Ron forgot about him mm -hmm. kind of like the energy of like my spirit guides forgot about me you know that th that's the vibe that I'm picking up here that is in your aura but Dobby did that on purpose because Dobby was you know like fearful or scared you know like um that Harry would be in danger you know so that's the vibe that I'm picking up here let me see what the August energy is about says hidden secrets can harm you so for some of you guys if you know anybody okay listen for some of you guys your spirit guides have been trying to talk to you through signs connected to the month of august if you don't know anybody that is born in the month of august they have been talking to you through signs that you maybe have been receiving connected to the month of august or signs that you will be receiving connected to the month of august after you watch this reading okay because it says hidden secrets can harm you so there is an energy here again i feel like someone has been just trying to get rid of you i don't know what that means that's the pushback that's the energy that's the reason why you feel like something is pushing you back it's that person so um this could be connected to again a person born in the month of august or something that has happened last august okay it's somehow connected to this person or um your manifestation here okay um we also have the tree here and i did talk about tree symbolism in pile number one it says affairs with your family it says hidden secrets can harm you so for some of you guys what you are not realizing is that someone born in the month of august might have a big secret you know or someone is hiding information Dobby was hiding information from Harry. Someone might be hiding information from you on purpose, but this information would actually help you. I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> okay. So if you had a feeling that someone is withholding information or someone is like hiding something or has a secret from you, um, this could be that person here. Okay. Somehow it's connected to the month of August. Or it might be connected to the symbolism of trees or a forest. It says affairs with your family. I don't know, for some of you guys there's like a family secret is what I'm picking up here. For some of you guys this family secret could be getting exposed this August or it has been exposed last August. Okay. Or again, something connected to what happened last August or something about August. I don't know what the fuck that means. Let me see. Why is the August energy here? One more card. Look at that. It says archway, new opportunities, possibilities and paths opening up. Okay, so they're telling me that you are... They're telling me that in August you will go through a portal or a shift. I don't know what the freak that means. Or whatever's manifesting right now, it's going to continue until August. And maybe in August you can finally leave. Does it make sense where something is manifesting now, but it is the reason why in August you can finally leave or you can finally quit your job or you can finally relocate. Does that make sense? Something like that is what I'm picking up here, where you are walking through a door or a portal in the month of august or you already did that last august you went you had like a an energy of like walking into a through a portal and that is the reason why something is manifesting at any moment from now okay this could even be a dream that you had in august in case you have a dream journal look at the dreams that you had in august okay it also says and work achievement and success so success work 
success and achievements are gonna come to you in August. I don't think you have to wait until August. I feel like they are about to start any moment from now, but they might continue until August or they are the reason why, I don't know, in August you you somehow move or you relocate or you go on a, you, you go traveling or you, um, maybe you, you start your own business. Do you know what I mean? Something about August is going to be a significant month for you this year. Okay. Or something about you had a huge, like, I'm seeing like big success. Like, success is going to start coming to you, but the like a peak it might be August for someone here. Or you had a dream, and this dream might take place in the month of August, but this dream is connected to you receiving a huge amount of money, or this dream is connected to, um, A huge company wanting to work with you or this dream like literally you had a dream about it or you seen like huge numbers or big money or something about yeah that's what i'm picking up here okay for some of you guys i'm hearing you are cracking the code about abundance like what why do why some people become wealthy and other people be, don't become wealthy you're cracking the code right now or you're close to cracking the code is what i'm picking up here Okay, now let me read out this card right here. I think it's a beautiful card and this card never comes out, you know, because I do use this deck frequently and this card never comes out. So as an omen, when a card comes out that never comes out, this tells me that I feel like your energy is different, like your frequency, your energy is different, okay? Or there's something about you are drawn to very new things, okay? And those new things that you are drawn to, they're leading you to a great fortune. I'm also hearing the song Yukai, because when I look at this card right here, it looks like a forest or she's coming out of like a forest. The forest can sometimes stand for muddled, unclear thinking. So I'm hearing the song Yukai by Janae Aiko. And then she says, I found my way out. I found my way out, all the way out, up in the trees, could you believe it? Okay, it's a beautiful song. The song might be significant, I'm gonna put it down in the description box, okay. But yeah, we have here as above, so below, so I'm gonna read this card out for you guys. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to part three. My way out. Up in a tree, up in a tree, could you believe it? Yeah, for some of you guys, there's like a family secret that is about to get exposed. I don't know what that means. Again, this could be connected to something that has happened in August, something that will happen in August, someone born in the month of August. Or it doesn't have to be a family, you know, secret. It could be a secret of somebody born in the month of August, what they have done behind the scenes or behind your back, okay. Mm -hmm. Because it also says you will be shown the way, you see. So you will be shown the way about a secret connected to August. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Or there's like, it's not random that the month August is following you or something like that. Okay, I don't know what the fuck, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Let's see, so. I think pile number one had the number 41 and you have the number 40. So I do feel like you guys are connected. It says, damn, the magician twice. And listen, sometimes I'm a little bit shocked because the, the song, I'm gonna put it down in the description box by Kid Kanye. It's a new album that he released like, I don't know, two weeks ago, a month ago. Um, in the song he says, what happens when two wizards collide? Monumental things happen. And we have two magicians here. So two magical people or two people that have psychic abilities, magical abilities, two master manifestors, okay? Could somehow be significant. I'm also being brought to two witches, okay? Um, something like that could be somehow significant. And Harry Potter is all about like, you know, like, good and bad you know like two witches and you know what i mean okay so it says as above so below is a common witch 
phrase meaning what happens in the cosmos is reflected in the material world and vice versa the second half of the phrase as within so without meaning your internal landscape is creating your external life and what the experience in the world is also affecting you emotionally and spiritually it is not it's not unlike the law of cause and effect i.e for every effect there is a cause all of this means you have the power to shift your circumstances the more you heal and grow your inner world the more the outer world will reflect the light within you can begin by being mindful of what you send out into the universe knowing that it comes then that in some way it will make its way back to you and that by healing your own traumas you are contributing to the healing of the shared consciousness by choosing kindness you are sending more love out into the world and by believing in yourself and embracing your power um, you are unknowingly encouraging others to do the same now it's the now is the time to act upon what is within your heart trusting that as you take steps to work towards your goals the universe will respond respond in kind and move mountains on your behalf the collective will also move to support you and people and resources will find their way to you as a direct result of your willingness to pursue your dreams this card also serves as a card of abundance we have the energy you listen you vibrate on a frequency of abundance that's what you need to know you might not be fully aware of it but you have done so much shadow work you have done so much work on yourself you vibrate on a frequency of abundance and it's only a matter of time until it's manifesting in your outer world okay that's what i'm picking up here or your energy is very powerful like big time okay it's like your light was dimmed at some point and you are reaching like the full potential like when you put a dimmed uh, lamp on 100 so the light is on 100 that's what i'm being brought to okay but you're still in the process does that make sense like that's what i'm picking up here every day it's um one percent brighter one percent brighter that's what i'm picking up here some that's what i'm seeing here okay i'm also being brought to dragon ball wait listen i don't know why i'm being brought to dragon ball but um we are in the year of the dragon in chinese zodiac in, in chinese horoscope um in march we are entering the chinese year of the dragon okay or someone you could be a dragon in chinese horoscope okay um this card also serves as a card of abundance and if your reading is about wealth you may soon be the happy recipient of a financial windfall bitch yes or an opportunity may lead to significant financial growth hello <laughs> okay i'm welcoming all of it <laughs> um this is a fortunate card for for i cannot pronounce the word but it says it's this is a fortunate card and we have the good fortune here twice um this is a this is a fortunate card however should this card fall from the deck and land on the in the reverse position which it did not um it is a reminder for all beings is a reminder that all beings are connected through the collective consciousness and if you don't act on an idea given to you eventually it will stream back into the collective and manifest in a new way mm. i don't know why i'm channeling so much harry potter and you're reading but one more thing that spirit just showed me yeah they could be talking to you through tv shows and movies right now this is also my card Sorry guys, the camera was just blurry. <laughs> um, for some of you guys, the spirit guides might be talking to you through movies, okay? They might be talking through to you through movies and TV shows right now, okay? That's how they communicate to you right now in this very moment. Um, but one more thing that I wanted to say here is I'm also being brought to the end of one, Harry, one of Harry Potter, like one of the Harry Potter movies where Luna said she yeah i think it was the prison of azkaban i do think that's the, the the movie that maybe for some of you guys you need to watch because there's like signs and synchronicities in that movie but luna says something about like you know sometimes things come to us sometimes things come back to us but in a different way or in a different form kind of like where you lose something but it's coming back to you but in a different way this is also what i'm being brought to so what you're not realizing is that 
you may have lost something but you also gained something or what you've lost is coming back to you just in a different way okay that's what i'm picking up here dang your reading was fantastic spectacular <laughs> number two that's all i have for you guys i hope you like this reading i hope this helped you um do we want to get one more card for hidden secrets okay i just got one extra card for the hidden secrets can harm you it says trust your intuition psychic ability so someone could be someone is is jealous of your psychic ability someone maybe has been trying to hide something from you even though they know you have psychic abilities or someone is like um on a witch hunt because you have psychic abilities or someone is scared of you because you have psychic abilities because listen if someone has been acting weird around you lately it is because they know you have psychic abilities and they feel like if you look into their eyes for too long you will find out their their dirt or you will find out their secrets for someone here that's why they have been trying to like i don't know like hide from you or not whatever okay fathers of you you already know what this hidden secret is like you know what i'm talking about i don't have to elaborate your your intuition is so strong that you know what i'm talking about here okay um yeah pen number two that's all i have for you guys i hope you like this reading i hope this helped you i'm going to see you in my next one and i wish you a lovely day bye hello my lovely pal number three welcome to your reading guys yes i changed the light <laughs> um it's also dark outside when i started it wasn't dark yet um but the moon is out now <laughs> um why am I telling you all of that anyway? Pan number three, welcome to your reading, guys. Um, what we're going to look at today is we're going to look at something that is happening within you, around you, behind your back that you are not seeing, that you are not fully aware of. This could be something happening in the spirit realm, behind the scenes. This could be connected to someone doing something behind the scenes that is somehow connected to you. Okay, guys, let's begin your reading. So... What am I seeing here? Pile number three. Um, we have here the card. Let me zoom you guys in and then we're going to talk about everything. So again, we're going to reveal some hidden information. We're going to reveal some secrets or maybe you have been feeling something in the air and you couldn't put your finger on it. And your spirit guides maybe are trying to explain to you what you have been feeling, but you couldn't put your finger on it. Okay, so I'm going to show you the cards in a different uh order then i showed them in pound number one and two because the, the card that sticks out to me the most is the bewitched card it says you are under a spell or you're under a spell okay and then we have here someone you know is undependable and insincere so your spirit guides want to talk about an undependable insincere snake rat that is around you Okay, we also have a peacock here, or we have the card here, peacock. It says, be aware of great pride. Which always, every time I see this card right here. Oh yes, bitch. Sorry. Because <laughs> um, I'm channeling right now. I'm being brought to Kung Fu Panda. Because there's this evil motherfucking peacock in Kung Fu Panda. And every time I see the peacock, I think of this evil peacock. But it makes sense in your reading because it says you're under a spell. And here it says someone you know is undependable and insincere. So you have a snitch, you have a rat, you have a snake around you. Okay. You might think like there's no one around me that is a snake or whatever. There is someone that are around you that is a snake. Okay, maybe for some of you guys you already know. Or you have a suspicion and your spirit guides just want to confirm to you that you're not going crazy this you are under a spell or someone is trying to cast a spell send energy your way maybe you have been feeling like i feel like this is kind of manipulative what you're doing it kind of feels manipulative yes you are correct i'm seeing manipulation here i'm seeing gaslighting here so if you have been feeling like someone is gaslighting you or someone is manipulating you you are correct about it i'm seeing it in the cards okay you're not overly sensitive you're not overreacting yes it is true this person uses manipulation this person you know like um for example where you feel like you are saying or doing something and 
you're just trying to be honest and communicate clearly and you feel like this person is trying to get back at you or clap back and then they say oh you know it wasn't directed towards you or oh you're exaggerating i didn't mean it this way it was only a joke it was not this was intentionally trying to hurt you manipulation mm -mm. Mm -mm. nope mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. okay so the reason why I see the peacock here, or the reason why Spirit brought me immediately to the movie Kung Fu Panda, um, is because Po, in the movie, Po was adopted by the duck, right? <laughs> so Po was adopted when he was super duper, like when he was a baby, by the duck. And um, he then figured out that, what was this about? Oh yeah, in his subconscious mind, he knew that he was adopted, but he never talked about his adoption or he never talked about like his parents or whatever. But when he saw the peacock, he had like a flashback. So basically, I don't know how to explain it because, um, you know, for some of you guys, that movie could be significant. It's with the peacock. I think it's part number two, but I'm not sure. Or part number three. I forgot anyway so th there was this, there was this peacock i'm also being brought to red eyes i don't know if you had dreams of red eyes or like i'm seeing red eyes and like red circles i'm also seeing whatever i'm talking about could be something that took place like you could have felt like someone like i'm seeing for some of you guys here in december something has happened that made you think maybe this is different like the way like maybe you had a feeling that in december someone changed their energy changed or in december you had a feeling that there is an energy of spells manipulation gas lightning in the air or you had a feeling because in the movie kung fu panda again the movie starts with a peacock and she had like this peacock has like these very intense red eyes so maybe you also felt a weird energy looking into someone's eyes the last couple of days in december something like that okay or you had dreams of eyes watching you something like that now in the movie kung fu panda with a peacock there was a fortune teller what was i think she was a goat <laughs> Okay, so the fortune teller, she was a goat in Kung Fu Panda. She told the peacock, like, because the peacock had parents. I forgot his name, okay? Let's call this peacock James, okay? <laughs> um, someone's name here could be James. This person that I'm talking about could... His name could be James, but it doesn't have to be, okay? Let's say, for example, this peacock's name is James. And James had parents. Oh, yeah, and fireworks, because in the movie... It was all about how James, his parents, they rose to fortune um, in China because they were the founder or the innovator of fireworks. So they were the ones that somehow were the co-founders or the founders or the innovators of the fireworks that they chose for the Chinese New Year. So this could be an energy where there's like Asian chinese energy around you or you 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 maybe have a past life in an asian culture that's why you feel connected to it your spirit guides you for someone it's a, it's a confirmation or you literally might be asian or you're just very drawn to asian culture animes japanese food asian food you might be eating that right now okay just a confirmation that this is your pal so um and then they noticed that james was exploring or experimenting with the fireworks but in a dark way so the fireworks were supposed to bring happiness and joy to people right and then they noticed that james like this evil peacock was you know like um doing some dark shit like where he used the firework to hurt people and stuff like that so um and it could be connected to literally the Chinese New Year, which I think is in March, or this could be connected to something that has happened on New Year's Eve or around New Year's season, you know, December, New Year's Eve, whatever. This is what I'm being brought to. Okay. So um, then the, 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 the parents had a feeling like, hmm, I feel like something is wrong with James. I feel like something is wrong. I feel like James is starting to become a very bitter hateful person you know um so they went to the 
the fortune teller and then the fortune teller told the parents of that peacock that this peacock is going down a very dark path and if he doesn't stop there's gonna be a warrior you know poe you know the warrior is gonna come and conquer him and his darkness so this could be somewhat significant here where you had a feeling that someone's energy switched, someone's energy changed. Maybe you had a feeling that someone is experimenting with dark stuff or someone is kind of like losing their moral compass. Maybe you've noticed that someone around you is losing their moral compass. Like maybe they are a free spirited individual, but they're starting to lose their moral compass or their star. Well, you notice that someone is starting to become very bitter and hateful and spiteful and full of vengeance, where you feel like someone is seeking vengeance and because they're seeking vengeance and revenge, they're becoming blind or they're starting to change or someone is using very extreme... Um, methods to get what they want not just with you but also with other people for others of you this is just a confirmation that you were right you already knew everything that i just said you already know what this is about okay but i feel like this person could be trying like what you don't see is that this person is gonna they're gonna try again to convince you that you are exaggerating and you're just making it up in your mind and that they didn't do anything Okay, so they might be trying to come back and try to convince you again or try to make you feel unsure about your own intuition. And that's why your spirit guides want you to know like what you don't see coming is that this person will try again to act innocent, you know, because maybe you thought this chapter is over, but they might be trying to come back into your life. I don't know who this is. So someone from the past, for some of you guys, you already cut this person out of your life. But they might be trying to come back into your life. You might be like, damn, I haven't heard from this person for so long. And they and they might be trying to act like you. They, this person could be trying to come back into your life. You might be shocked about it. You don't see that coming because you never thought this person would try again. Like the audacity to even try again. Does that make sense? But maybe the next time they come to you, they will their performance or their acting is going to be a little bit better. They're going to try to act a little nicer you know because they know that they cannot bullshit you anymore so they will try to kiss your ass and be super nice to you um, because they know that um, you know you can see right through them so what you don't see coming or something that is in your energy is someone from the past could be coming back if you already cut this person out of your life someone from the past could be coming back and they could be trying to act brand new like oh i'm a new person but um they're still mm, yeah, unsincere and undependable they did not change it's an act okay they're good at acting they're good at convincing people they're good at manipulating people they're good at saving the face they're good at suppressing their anger like this is a person who is um this is a person who is not aggressive in your face they are like sneakily like uh passive aggressive this is a very passive aggressive individual you know they could be calm from the outside but on the inside they are the fire is burning does that make sense and that's why they can easily manipulate people because they have some type of self-control to the point where from the outside they look calm but when you look into this person's eyes oh my god it's a different story so you could have felt very weird looking into this person's eyes or this is about to happen okay something about this could be a new co-worker this could be something about where you're somehow going to cross paths with this person i'm even seeing because we have the cartier marriage okay we have the cartier marriage we have the cartier privileged lady <laughs> okay um and we also have here the card uh parting of the ways either in romance or business and we have the three of pentacles here. Nah, I don't know what. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, give me a moment, guys. So. For some of you guys, um, let me see what this is about. 
Okay. Because I'm seeing like this privileged lady. This could be a person who... The privileged lady is a person that she cares about privilege. So if she sees that there's a privilege in being friends with you, there's a privilege in being in a relationship with you, there's a privilege in befriending you, whatever it is, um, she's going to do it. But not because she actually genuinely likes you. This could even be an energy where someone is just around you or with you because they feel like you can help them. This could be a person who feels like a damsel in distress. They feel like the world, the universe, like every everyone owes them help. You know, of course, you know, like the universe helps you, but it's kind of like a person, they don't want to do anything alone. They don't want to go to work. They don't want to manifest on their own. They don't want to focus on their healing. On like, Everybody and their mama around them has to do everything for them. This is like a princess... This is like a queen or a princess that wants to sit on the throne, but they don't want to do any work. This is like a very lazy individual. Does that make sense? And they want you to be their therapist. And they don't want to go to therapy. They want you to be their therapist. They don't want you... They don't want to, you know, learn about healthy eating. They want you to cook for them every day. It's kind of like a very entitled individual that feels like, you know, they are so... I feel like this person, like... I feel like one of their biggest like how can i explain that energy them being lazy makes them a very cunning individual does that make sense they're so lazy that they want other people to work for something and then they want to benefit from it this person like their biggest like their achilles heel is their laziness but also their um their motivation for manipulating people is laziness where they don't want to do the dirty work they don't want to put in hard work they just want to this is a leech okay this is a mother freaking leech so you could be coming across a leech um whoever this is this could be like for example this could be a new friend that your partner's gonna bring home this could be a new friend that your friend is gonna bring home something about i feel like you are um, about to or you are supposed to somehow expose um, a person and their manipulation okay so for some of you guys you are supposed to expose someone's manipulation in another person's life okay well you, you can see right through the bullshit because you are not bewitched and you are not under a spell for others of you you are like snapping back to reality like damn why did i do that you know like it felt like i'm under a spell it felt like i'm in trance doing this because normally i wouldn't do that does that make sense something like that is what i'm picking up here what in the world is that about okay someone could be trying to make you fall in love with them so someone could be trying to put a love spell on you right now kind of like where you don't like them and then you feel like you start to like them does that make sense where you don't like a person and then you could be feeling like you start to like them but you don't know why so someone could be like someone could be very aware that you don't like them so they're trying to somehow get your green light because they know that someone how can i explain that energy because they know that your opinion is very important to someone around them. So if you think good of them, they, you see where I'm coming from? This is like a very, this could be a narcissist or this could be like a person who they use people as chess pieces, okay? Because the way this person thinks is a, I don't know, this is a little like, they use people and relationships as, as strategy. It's not, I don't know. Okay. There could be a female who only wants to get married because of benefits. Someone wants to someone here only wants to get married because of benefits and because of money and because of status. This could be someone like a friend around you that is going to end up being with a man or a woman and they're only there because of the privilege and not because they actually like your friend. Does that make sense? And you're supposed to call it out or this could be an energy around you, okay? This could be a woman and she is married and she might be befriending you or <sighs> I don't know let me see okay so what you're not seeing is that um, you might be parting ways soon with somebody for others of you I'm gonna be honest okay 
fathers of you um i do say that a lot in my readings but hey what i'm just the messenger for some of you guys it says you're falling in love very soon so for some of you guys you are falling in love very soon let me actually see who this is and as you are falling in love someone's energy will change around you I don't know who they are, this could be a co-worker, this could be an uncle, this could be a sister, this could be whatever. So someone's energy will switch and change once you are in a relationship. They might start to be very jealous, they might start to become a very destructive individual and you will have to part ways. So it's kind of like someone new comes into your life but you're also gonna part ways with someone else. Does that make sense? But this person's insincere and undependable. Like they they don't have their anger and their jealousy under control. So they would be an endangerment to you and your marriage or your connection. Okay. Or someone you could be literally jealous right now of your marriage or your relationship. And they could be trying to break you and your partner up. I'm seeing that here as well. Okay. But let's find out who this unsincere, undependable person is. Because then you will know what, you know, what is what. Okay. Can you clarify the feather? How would pound number three know who this individual is? Mm. Fire. This person could be a fire sign. You could have noticed or you will notice signs connected to fire. You see this person, they either love or hate people. Like they either like you because you do stuff for them or they fucking hate you. But their hate is very deep. It's a very... Do you know what I mean? It's not just normal hate. It's a very deep, bitter, bitter, grudge-holding, bitch-ass hate. You know? Mm -mm. We have here Mountain Road. Okay. So this could be a person that... Can I be honest? This could be a person that lives in the mountains. This could be a person that likes hiking. Or this could be a person... I'm seeing like their street name could be connected to a mountain. Their street name, like the name of their street, like where they live at, could be connected to a mountain. Okay. Something along those lines is what I'm picking up here. Okay. Can I be honest? I'm also picking up they could be Greek or from Greece or something happened in Greece or you went on a vacation with this person in Greece. Okay, not for everybody. Um... This could be a person that is very crafty. They could be like building their own like um, tables and furniture and stuff like that. Doesn't have to be. Or something about they're connected to the woods. Okay. They could be liking camping. Who is this person that is unsincere and undependable? Okay, we have a dark man here. Okay, so this could be um, a dark man. This could be um, a relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. Okay, this could be a person that is, they talk a lot about money or they talk a lot about manifesting money. Let me see, let's get a few more cards. Who is this unsincere, undependable person here? How will pile number three know who this is? Travel, you see. So this could be a person that... This could be like relatives that you don't see often. Like I'm picking up like an energy here where um, this could be, again, you maybe have been on vacation with this person or you received signs when you were on vacation with this person that something is off. Um, fathers of you you could meet them at the airport or you could literally meet them in an in an airplane i don't know why i don't know this could be again i could be tapping into future events okay um this could be a person who's in who works at a travel agency okay this could be a stewardess um this could be a person that comes from a tropical country okay who is this person that is undependable and insincere and cannot be trusted or whatever? What in the world is that energy about? We have here, oh, bitch. So what you are not seeing is that someone will be very jealous when you fall in love. Um, because we have true love here. 
This could be a person who doesn't believe in true love or they're trying to make you not believe in true love. I don't know what that means, okay? They might be saying true love doesn't exist or love at first sight doesn't exist. Who's this person that is undependable and insincere? Or you could feel like this person says, I love you, but you don't feel it. Like you don't feel, like in your heart, you don't feel anything. This person says, I love you, and you cannot feel it. Okay. Or something about where you, in your heart, you feel like you're disconnected to them, or you don't. Listen, it's not like you don't. Because for some of you, listen, for some of you guys, are you falling out of love with somebody right now? Because I feel like an energy where your heart is like telling you, something is missing like your heart might be telling you something is missing oh my gosh bitch because dang hmm and we have triangle here okay so i'm telling you it's kind of like once you do actually meet your true love there will be a third person Maybe they were maybe they're really good at acting innocent and kind and sweet, but they will not be able to control themselves when you meet your true love. And it says you're falling in love very soon. Okay. So for some of you guys, it could be you could be ready because the card says you are ready. For some of you guys, you could be ready to part ways with somebody. Okay. Because your heart is telling you there's a disconnect. Sometimes it's not even like a bad thing. It's just like, man, you know, um, I don't feel as connected to you anymore as I used to be. Or I feel like a disconnect. Or I feel like I am changing and you are changing and we're no longer compatible. This could be in a friendship. This could be you and an and and and. and and an acquaintance but i think they're gonna be very like butthurt it's kind of like where you set boundaries with a person and they will show you that it was absolutely the right decision to stay away from them because once you are not doing what they want you to do that's when you will see this person's true colors okay so there could be a third party situation going on that you are not fully aware of or there will be very shortly after this reading. Someone will pretend that they, I did say that in a different reading, someone will pretend that they love you even though they don't, they're there for the privilege. It could be an energy where two men or two women say I love you. And one I love you is deep from the bottom of this person's heart. And the other I love you is because of privilege, like, I love you because I know you can do this and that and this and that for me. So they don't love you. They love what you can do for them. Oh, man. Mm -mm. For some of you guys, pile number three, the marriage energy can also be a shady contract because marriage, you know, certificates are contracts. So spirit might be telling you or your spirit guides are trying to kind of like warn you of a shady contract or um, a contract that has like hidden agendas or a person that has hidden, hidden agendas while signing a contract. They might have hidden agendas why they want to live with you or they might have hidden agendas why they, I don't know, they somehow want to work with you. So this could be like a shady business partners what i'm picking up here as well for a few of you guys okay or again it's kind of like an energy where your spirit gets already warning you because this person is planning to come to you this person is planning on approaching you and how they can convince you and that's like what you are not seeing they are literally right now planning how they can somehow convince you or maybe even make you do something against your will um, of some sort okay they might be trying to somehow find a strategy to make you do something and you think it's your own will but they have been kind of like manipulating you or talking you into doing something and then you might be entangled so basically someone could be trying to butter you up or to somehow um turn your no into a yes if that makes sense okay because again they have hidden agenda so this could be an ex trying to come back this could be an ex-friend trying to come back for some of you guys this person's not in your life you already cut them out of your life but they might be attempting to somehow come back into your life somehow some way so they are right now plotting um, a strategy or thinking about like how they can manipulate you into saying yes to them okay mm -mm. 
one more card. Who is this unsincere, undependable person? What? Who is this? Could be. This could also be a brunette female. So this could be a masculine or a feminine. It doesn't. You know, like you would know because it's a reading for a lot of people. Okay. So basically, for some of you guys, this could be an energy where what you're not seeing is that it is time for you to part ways with somebody because the disconnect is already very like very intense or something about um what you don't see is that um you falling in love is gonna cause for another connection to fall apart but this person is not to be trusted whatsoever anyway okay um for others of you this could be an energy where you don't see that someone is giving giving you fake love okay um or someone is trying to make you and your partner break up uh, for some of you guys, okay? Let's see. Can you clarify the broken ring or parting ways? Or there could be like an evil eye on your engagement or whatever, okay? I just heard evil eye breaker. For some of you guys, you are in the middle or in the process of breaking a huge evil eye that maybe has been on you for a while. We have vacation. Listen, I'm telling you, the vacation card came out twice here. So you have been traveling with this person or something is going to happen when you go on vacation. Something significant is going to happen, kind of like where you part ways with a person that is undependable and insincere because you will see this person's true colors when it comes to a vacation or a person that you already parted ways with um, might, I don't know, like uh, send you a message, wants to reconnect with you while you are on vacation or um you might meet them while being on vacation okay does that make sense so someone from the past could be trying to come back and they're not changed they're still the same old same old okay we have your happiness and well-being because someone could be seeing that you are traveling and that's when they will reach out to you okay or again there's something about parting ways with a person that cannot be trusted while you are on vacation or because of a vacation or something like that okay one more what is the broken ring energy about here time to take action or time to act the lion so this could be connected to a leo i did say fire sign right although i don't really like to say like zodiac signs in my readings but hey it might be significant for someone here Okay, so this could also be connected to a Leo, parting ways with a Leo, or you will realize something when you're going on vacation or you take a few days off of work is what I'm picking up here. Okay, let's see, where is the you're ready card? Let's see what the you're ready energy is about. Okay, what is the you are ready energy about? Hmm. We have the throw in here. What is the year ready about? What is the year ready energy about? Okay, and what is the not yet? Give yourself time. Okay. Okay, so because we have one card here, pile number three, that says not yet, give yourself time. You're still healing, growing, and learning. And the other one says you're ready. I did say that, like I did, I, I talked about that in a different reading. I remember that. So the not yet, give yourself time where your spirit guides are saying not yet. It's not yet time for something. It seems to be connected to a financial pinch. Okay, so your spirit guides might be saying it's not yet time for you to manifest wealth that is going to get you out of a financial pinch because your health comes first before the money to get out of the financial pinch okay or there could be an energy where your spirit guides are saying um it's not the best time for you to invest big money into things or wait until you have more money for something okay don't go all in into something kind of like where you buy a house for example with you know all your savings 
okay something about it might not be yet a good time for you to spend money <laughs> if that makes sense okay or to spend a big amount of money on something um because there might be like a better offer there might be like a better uh a bargain somehow some way around the corner if you just wait a little bit longer for you to invest money into something okay is what i'm picking up here it's kind of like it's not yet the right time for either some type of wealth or for you to manifest like a invest a lot of money into something kind of like i don't know like moving relocating buying a car or whatever because you might need this money for something else does that make sense or to not suck your savings dry right now it's not the right time for you to do so okay because you might be pushing yourself even though you actually need a break now your spirit guides are saying that it is time for you to make plans so your spirit guides are saying it's a very good time for you to make plans or to plan ahead into the future okay with the throne energy here it says position of authority so for some of you guys i'm hearing it's the right time for you to step into your power or to become powerful or to embrace the authority figure in you where maybe you are a person who says oh what do i know or why would somebody listen to me or do you know what i mean but your spirit guides are saying you know a lot about a specific topic and they might be saying it's time for you to claim your power or to claim some type of authority position here okay or to speak someone to speak to an authority figure or actually that you are ready to meet a person who's in a position of power okay we also have the dolphin here it says financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past <clears throat> so it's kind of like the energy where your spirit guys are saying it's good for you to like you're ready to make money but not to spend it i don't know what that means let me get one more card here okay or to focus on your finances as well as your health okay until your lover comes in <laughs> okay it says not yet give yourself time but very soon do you see that it says not yet give yourself time very soon you will be ready if i would put the words together here okay what is the not yet energy about yeah look at that your heart is still healing do you see that your heart is still healing what is the not yet energy about here look at that you might also not yet be ready for again but it says very soon but it says not yet right now in this very moment not yet but um this could be an energy where you're not yet ready to hey guys it could be an energy where you're not yet ready to go back into the gym just for someone here or again this could be an energy where you're not yet ready for a big crowd or you are not yet ready for um you're not yet ready for some type of big event is what i'm picking up here but soon you will be okay could be connected to a financial pinch or it could be connected to yeah it's, it's something about where your body or your mind or your soul is still healing okay let's see what is panel three ready for though it's funny because the word gain came out twice so you're ready for some type of gain here oh to gain energy or to gain power oh look at that it might be an energy where you're still supposed to be in your blessed singlehood for now but soon you will not be but you still need it does it make sense you still need this being by myself thriving by myself or um you being by yourself in case you are by yourself um is because when you are by yourself you you are you are very powerful when it comes to gaining wealth or you're still gaining you're still gaining energy is what i'm trying to say here okay or your spirit guides want you to finish building something by yourself before mm, new people come into your life does that make sense yeah with the journalist it's a great time for you to embrace wellness energy okay to embrace anything related to wellness so it's not the time for you to go out and party and stuff like that. <laughs> it's the time for you to practice wellness, meditation, 
massages, going to the sauna, going to the fitness, you know, going to the gym. Okay, right now in this very moment as you're watching this reading, but very soon he would be somehow surrounded by a lot of people or something about um, there will soon be a big change in your life. It could be either connected to your finances or your love life. Okay, one last card. What is the not yet energy about? Yeah, okay. If you're trying to somehow manifest success online, right now is not the time because you're gaining power and energy to actually handle the demand. Like I'm being brought to someone who he might be focused on a product that you want to launch, but you have to be ready for the demand. Like people are going to demand this product. So your spirit guides are giving you time to produce enough of this product before the demand comes to you in case someone here is connected to business or wants any wants to do something with your with your projects or whatever okay yeah and fathers of you fathers of you you might not be yet ready to fall in love but very soon you will be because i'm hearing there goes my baby oh girl look at you and for others of you um it's just gonna be for someone here not for everybody okay for some of you guys, it might be a great time for you to be single, okay? Just for someone here, not for everybody and their mama, okay? But if you feel like you have had a lot of relationships and stuff like that, or you feel like you always have been in a relationship, it's an ideal time for you to be by yourself and figure out what you can build by yourself and how good it feels to be in your own company and what it feels like to be your own best friend or what you find out about yourself you know rather than finding so much out about another person you find out a lot about yourself okay so for some of you guys it could be like an excellent time for you to be single okay just for my people who have been in relationships a lot and you feel like you might be feeling like you need a break and you are correct about it okay that you do need a break from relationships or you need a break from friendships even you know before you make new friends you need a break from traumatic friendships if that makes sense okay but i'm gonna read this card out here for you guys this card says bewitched you're under a spell so let's see what that is about do you know what i'm also picking up here if i could describe the energy i'm hearing toxic i'm hearing the song toxic by britney spears and it's funny because she's a stewardess in the music video um but i'm also hearing do you know that feeling where something tastes good only because you are drunk or you fancy someone only because you're drunk but then when the lights are on and you're no longer drunk you don't even find this person attractive that's the vibe that is surrounding you or could be surrounding you right now or someone is i don't know kind of like i'm um, trying to like I'm being brought to someone who is like ordering drinks for another person so that they are more open to the idea of being intimate. That's the vibe that I'm picking up here. If I could describe it, okay. I don't know in which area in your life this is. Okay, but let's see what the your bewitched energy is about. Okay. So um the card says you're under a spell, obsession, addiction, conditioning, the devil. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Temptation can feel a lot like being under a spell. You know you should you know you shouldn't do it, yet you can't help yourself. And you continue to make bad choices even when it doesn't feel good. You're ashamed or you feel as though your power slips away with every act of self-sabotage. Okay. It says, in, in a money reading, bewitched appears when you are too focused on material pursuits or get rich quick schemes. You may be sacrificing your beliefs to reach goals or of a certain status or level of achievement. However, continuing to do so will come at a great personal cost. For some of you guys, if you feel like, that's not me, this is the person that is surrounding you. Does that make sense? If you feel like, damn, that doesn't sound like me, you know, like... I have integrity. Do you know what I'm actually being brought to? I'm being brought to the song E40, like the rapper is called E40, and the song is called Choices. And it's funny because we have here the Two of Wands. Hold on. 
We have here the two of wands. And in the song he talks about like everybody got choices, kind of like let me actually look at the lyrics, okay? I'm gonna put the song down in the description box, but it's somewhat significant in your life right now. Okay, so let me actually read out the lyrics here. He says, ever toad on a person? Nope. Ever squeezed the trigger? Yep. Ever ever set a person up? Nope. Ever helped a brother out when he was down on his luck? Yep. Do you see where I'm coming from? So it's kind of like um, you can make a decision to set somebody up or you can make a decision to help somebody. Then he says, and then for example, in the song he says, um, lazy? Nope. Got a eggplant that would drive a person crazy? Yep. Hater? Nope. Wanna see a player get paper? Yep. Kind of like I'm clapping for other people. I want I want to see people like you know succeed. Um, traitor? Nope. Loyal to my soil, not a faker? Yep. For example, he also says, and that's what I was brought to. He says, scared of the dark? Nope. Have money, have heart? Yep. Narc? Nope. Shark? Yep. <laughs> Gossip like a broad? Nope. Check a person like a smog? Yep. Slipping? Nope. Tripping? Yep. You see, so it's kind of like you can always make a decision to do the wrong thing or to do the right thing. So if you feel like what the card is talking about doesn't apply to you, but it might apply to you and it's totally fine. We have our days when we are just in a bad headspace. It's totally fine. Don't worry about it and don't be ashamed. But if you feel like this doesn't resonate with you, where you feel like you're not drawn to extreme methods or you're not drawn to like, a, I don't know, yeah, some type of extreme way of doing something that will get you to uh that will help you to manifest something as quick and as fast as possible and you don't worry about the consequences if you're not in that energy this is the person that is surrounding you or this is the person that might be approaching you very soon you might get a text message from them very soon or something along those lines or they already are around you so in the song he says have money have heart but i feel like this could be a person who can become heartless when how could you be so heartless could a teddy bear could also be somehow significant here in this reading but this could be a person who becomes heartless when they are in a survivor mode in a, survi in a survival mode they could become heartless when money is involved or they could become heartless when um they feel like someone is stealing you away from them but it's like i feel like this person is like a little do you know what i mean like they no one is snatching you away from them, but they might be thinking that in their head. So they might be like targeting people that didn't do anything. I don't know how to explain it. You probably know what I mean. Like this person is a little like, um, I'm hearing no, isn't there a song called No Guidance by Chris Brown? Something like that, okay? Yeah, so in the song it says, everybody got choices. Okay, so what you might not be realizing is that a person around you, if it's not you, but it could be you too, it could be both energies. Um, This could be an energy where a person around you is, they have a very extreme view on something or they, their moral compass is not functioning. Like their moral compass is fucked up right now or yeah okay something like that um in a love reading you may find yourself pursuing shallow people and relationships so there could be a shallow person or a shallow relationship somehow in your energy and that's why you feel like your heart is telling you something is not right okay it could be you it could be you have cut yourself off from discovering true deep meaningful connections even though that is what you truly desire in general, this card represents a victim mentality. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. If it's not you, okay, and if, if, it, if it is you, if you feel like, you know, like, man, this sounds like me, there's no no shame in that. We sometimes have our days where we feel like we are a victim and everybody's doing us dirty and it's okay to acknowledge that people have been doing you dirty, but there is a day where you have to tell yourself, I am changing my life. Fuck all of you. Okay, I'm not going to hold this grudge with me. I'm not going to let this bitterness eat me up from the inside. I'm going to let go. 
okay, I'm not forgiving you or I am forgiving you, but that doesn't mean that you need to come back into my life. But for the, for the sake of my peace, you know, I don't want to hold on to like this pain and this anger. I don't want to do that. So I'm letting go of it right now. So I can move the fuck on with my life and get to my final, get to my goal. Okay. Now for others of you, I'm telling you, this is a person around you. That's their energy. They are in a victim mentality. You know, they're always the victim and be aware that they're not manipulating you into thinking they're always the victim because they might be the shit starter. Does that make sense? And then you are someone tangled in chaos and drama that, you know, like you just wanted to help and all of a sudden you're connected to chaos and drama and all that and they were the one who's done the bullshit and not the p person that they accused that they accused of doing the bullshit, okay? Um, yeah, so it says, in general, this card represents a victim mentality and a need to blame others for your choices. Everybody got choices. <laughs> um, you can change things at any time you choose, but have not taken responsibility for your role in your circumstances. Okay. So your spirit guides are saying you might not be realizing that you have the power to change something. Okay. Or that someone is trying to somehow change your view or someone is trying to manipulate the truth somehow some way okay i'm already here so i think i'm gonna get one more card okay because i feel like doing so i don't know why spirit guides answers what do you want pen number three to know or what is going on around pen number three or what do you want pen number three to know look at that it says seasons of the witch honoring cycles okay Let's read this card out. I'm also seeing mushrooms here. So the symbolism of mushrooms could be significant. I don't know why. Oh, it's interesting. We have the Wheel of Fortune here twice. This is fantastic. Okay, let's see. It says honoring cycles, letting go of control, embracing the season you're in, repeating cycles. Okay, so this could be like a golden thread or a repeating cycle and your spirit guides want you to break the cycle or want you to break, yeah, something to break the cycle or to not repeat something or you already learned this lesson. Don't let this person like gaslight you into some bullshit, okay? Um... It says, life is full of ups and downs, twists and turns. The earth uses the seasons to beautifully illustrate the cycles we all face in, in life. The season also reminds us that everything has its challenges, no matter how beautiful it is or how much joy it brings. Equally, even the roughest times offer lessons, even if subtle or small. Spring bursts with color and beauty, but also comes with its fair share of wind and stormy days. Summer provides a bounty of fresh fruits and vegetables, but may not, but may be hot and often very dry or humid. Fall is cooler and rich with jewel toned leaves, but eventually those leaves fall. And winter brings about cozy days, but wintry weather can be challenging, even dangerous. Okay, so it's almost like um, there's a blessing coming to you, but the process of, it's kind of like where you have to somehow sacrifice something that is not good for you. This could even be a habit in order for you to make a wish come true. And it might be time for you to detach, or it might be time for you to let go of like a negative habit or like a person that you know is holding you back from reaching your goals, okay? So this might have just been like a confirmation where you think this is what it is, but you're not sure about it and this is your confirmation, okay? Everyone faces obstacles, even the most cosmic co even the most cosmically connected person has trials. This card guides you to learn to embrace the cycles you're in without trying to change anything. You are here for a reason. Ask yourself, how can I release control of what's detrimental in my situation? What positive elements within my control can I focus on instead? If you keep finding yourself in negative situations, pulling this card is also a clear sign that you are fa failing to learn the lesson from this phase of your life. You will continue to stay here as long as is needed for you to understand and grow. Continuing to date the same negative type, falling to speak, failing to speak up for yourself and letting others 
disregard your boundaries facing financial ruin immediately after a period of wealth or finding your best intentions are always misunderstood or all signs of stagnation. Similarly, if your circumstances are favorable now, reflect upon the choices that have brought you to this point. How can you strengthen in these areas? to ensure more happy cycles in the future are there any ways you can be blocking are there any ways you may be blocking yourself from experiencing more consistent joy so basically in a nutshell <laughs> i'm telling you that after one hour of a reading <laughs> in a nutshell um i'm also hearing don't be so serious it's okay to make fun of yourself <laughs> okay it's, it's good for the soul because i just made fun of myself okay but in a nutshell what i'm picking up here is um you might be in a cycle and you might not realize it or you might be there might be like i'm hearing there's a pattern like you might not be realizing there's a pattern there's a cycle going on in your life okay or you might not be realizing that you are attracting the same type of people for whatever reason okay or the same type of circumstances and your spirit guides want you to sit down and realize it okay to see the bigger picture okay so there could be a golden thread that you are not fully aware of like damn now that i look at it this has been a pattern for the last two decades does that make sense in my life but only if you sit down and journal about it or think about it it you realize that it's actually a cycle or it's like repeating itself or something about where a situation is recycling itself over and over again. It's always the same situation but with different people or in a different city or whatever, something like that, okay? As well as, again, if you look at the good times in your life, okay? Every time you had a really good time in your life, it's also a pattern. I'm hearing... When someone says something, I love that quote so much, and I forgot who said that, um, but when someone says something happens by chance or something happens randomly, this person has not yet recognized the pattern. So saying something happens by chance is a person not recognizing a repetitive pattern. So when you say, oh, this happened by chance, you did not realize that there is a pattern that led to this event. Okay. So something that you think is random is actually not random. It is a cycle or it's repeating itself, something along those lines. Or again, the same thing as when you think about all the good times in your life, the times where you were thriving and shining and you felt your best, you will also notice there's like, um, there's basic blocks or there's basic energy that led you to feeling good. So it's kind of like three key points. Like if you would, you know, cause I'm seeing you drawing a pyramid so if you would draw a pyramid every time you were in a good energy in a good headspace every time you felt good oh my god we had a pyramid here every time you felt good okay every time you felt good and fantastic they were like the same key points maybe you drank a lot of water around that time maybe you always went on walks around that time maybe you were sleeping very well around that time so you notice like every time, every phase, every every year in my life that I felt good, I was drinking a lot of water, I was hydrating. So you drinking water and hydrating is like an essential part of the phase or the cycle in your life where you feel good. Whereas you notice every time I don't feel good, I usually don't go to the gym when I like every time I feel like absolute shit it's a time where I stop going to the gym so that's another part right so you notice okay when I don't feel good I usually am not active or I don't I'm not active when it comes to my body do you see where I'm coming from that's something that your spirit guides want you to dive into something about something doesn't happen by chance or something is not random it's repetitive or it's a cycle or there's a pattern in it okay number three that's all i have for you guys i hope you like this reading i hope this helped you i'm going to see you in my next one and i wish you a lovely day bye